Hi, hello, we are live. Um, how's everybody doing out there? I'm really Steph. Great. I say what I want. You know, Good. saying what you want can get you in trouble. Yeah. True. So, like, one time, I probably said this story already, but in high school, Mr. I, I think his name was Mr. Pilikowski, and he was, like, our chemistry teacher. And he goes, he goes, you guys don't want to make me mad. And I was just like, yeah, don't make him mad. Stephanie, get out. And I was like, okay. Yeah, you and then that was a time not to talk, right? I know. And then right after that, three others were sent out into the hallway. And then he oh, was solidarity? Just like, do you know? He was like, do you know why I took you out here? And I was like, well, I was repeating what you said, but I really wasn't trying to be sarcastic. And then he was just like, get inside. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I just sound sarcastic when I talk this way. Just, I don't know. Sorry, dude. I don't know, Steph. That seemed like a like the perfect time to not say anything yeah, at all. No, I've said plenty of stuff that's gotten me into trouble. I, I, I remember no. like back. <laughs> yeah, no, like, a lot. I remember this one time back With in community people. college. Um, so it was me and my buddy Evan. We were we were sitting in our math class. I forgot what math class it was. We're both dumb at math, so it was one of the remedial ones. Anyway, uh, yeah. we're about to take. I think it was our final. And our professor's just like, all right, from this point on, nobody say anything. I'm gonna, I'm about to hand out the the, the test. Oh, no. And without missing a beat, Evan turns to me like, hey, man. <laughs> he, <laughs> he got kicked out. <laughs> yeah, it's the worst. I was, just, I was looking like, I was like, dude. <laughs> I didn't say it. I was just looking like. Yeah. Uh, he got back, kicked out. Back on the cover of Steph Anything is Steph holding an otter over her head. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have one in arm's reach. Oh. You have multiple? You I thought she didn't? Otter. I have an otter cup that Anthony got me for Christmas. Yeah, you know what? Got, that's that's fair. I got a, my my stuffed otter that I sleep with. I have stuff. <laughs> She's got otter stuff. I have it's an otter favorite. on my leg, but we're not going to put my leg on stream. No one needs to see that right now. <laughs> Just her leg go slowly to, just comes up. <laughs> go Bet you didn't know I could do this. <laughs> and it comes like straight up. Straight up. No, yeah. not like from the Let side. me tell you, there was an episode of A Shot of Love with, Teque with Tila Tequila, <laughs> like way back when. And God. there was one bitch. They're all way that, back when. Yeah, there was this one bitch that was like, if somebody talks shit, I'm gonna put a stiletto up their ass. This bitch's leg went up straight like this. And I was like, how is she doing this? Flexible. The screen is so small. Her just straight up stiletto. And I was just like, what the fuck? I, I didn't know how she did it. I just thought it was amazing. That's all. Uh, Tequila, te te Tequila's got a lot of practice in raising straight upwards. <laughs> yeah. Just, just, I get a kick out of those shows. It's so She's stupid, but so fun. At least you know they're stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I go in watching knowing what stupidity is going to come out of it, and I get entertained because it's funny. Was it yeah. Adult Swim that did the, the mm. Shot of Love parody? Yes. Oh, did they do that? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Burning Love. Oh, wow. No, it, it was, it. Well, I think it was literally Shot of Love. Uh, Are you talking about the robot chicken sketch? Yeah, robot chicken. What, oh, I say, seen this? You said, adult, you said swim. adult swim. I yeah. thought you were referring oh. to the um the Paul Shear scripted thing they did, like Burning Love, where it was like a joke oh. of Big Brother and all that. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that. But yeah, I remember I, I, the Robot Chicken one. I like Paul Shear, uh, like as a dude. I, I listened to the to his podcast and whatnot. But like if he gets too close to center of the show, I kinda like it less and less. What do Steph's... you mean by that? I love him as a supporting character, but oh, if things okay. get like focused on him, like that NCIS DPD oh. thing, like I caught a whiff of it. I'm like, nah, this is this is not. Oh, you for me. you mean his acting? No, well, his supporting roles, I'm fine with. I like him. <laughs> like in the league, he's great. Whenever he's like, you know, guest starring on stuff, uh, he's a bunch of fun. No, I know I, what I meant was you're not talking about on his podcast. You're no, talking about like podcast. live action. Yeah, because okay. look, in, in you show. and me are there for for one person, and it's all about June, who is their Steph, and oh. we like 
to have Stephs in our lives. <laughs> and, and Steph, since you're already Googling who these people are, who's Paul Shear? <laughs> no, I'm not Googling him at all. I was going to post on um, Instagram <laughs> that, okay. that were live. Or, or, or Anthony, did I misread it and you're there for Jason? Because I, Ju June misses too many episodes. So I've just Fair defaulted. Enough. I've defaulted to Jason being my favorite. Yeah. I show. do love it. I love I love June when she comes in with her hot takes. Yeah. Um, which I feel like it's it just means it's all normal and rational and like not put on, but she doesn't have one every every episode. But when she does, they're great. So yeah. you just want one every episode. I get I mean, she's busy, she's working, she's acting, she's a mother of three kids, yeah. she's got things to do. So just like um, Steph. Yeah, yep. if uh, if anybody doesn't know the podcast we're talking about, it's um, how did this get made, which is a movie. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Mm. It's kind of it's it's like movie issues. <laughs> Remember that oh. Beck does. Beck does. <laughs> I want to do first that winner still. of the movie issues contest. <laughs> we had a contest. Yes, we did. Oh. We this, bought this was your podcast. <laughs> This we bought like Hansel and Gretel. Fucking years ago. <laughs> uh, we have Hansel and Gretel, uh, the good one. I think there was a double feature on there. Uh, and then we sent uh, we sent them some of the candy that we like. Mm. Hansel and I Gretel still comic... kicks ass. <laughs> Says Ben. I... Hansel I and Gretel is the... legit a good time. What is it? The comic issues pumpkin cutting contest. Pumpkin carving, or, yeah, pumpkin oh, carving costume. contest. In costume. I think we yeah. only did the pumpkin like once. But the costume contest uh, was done a few times. Shit, I gotta get my costumes for Halloween. I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> How about you wait till the summer's over when all the new movies come out and you decide what new things you want to be? Well, Steph yeah. is already making <laughs> notes to herself for yeah, backup Yeah, I have my ideas. alarm that's gonna go Stop. off. At we random are, times. We are not gonna do that again. In the future. <laughs> But at a time where it's almost too late to even achieve no, whatever it's not. idea it's like she I'm doesn't know she have. Ahead. That's how I work. A month <laughs> ahead. That's how she works. Yeah. Steph, how co yeah. Steph, how goes your Renfair costume? Because it's no longer a month ahead. I, or I ordered it today. All right. Then she's on track. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I Anthony, ordered how it comes your Renfair today. costume? I am also on track. Yeah. He ordered his that? today. No, um, okay. I've not I've not ordered it yet, which Mine's is on track on for Sunday. me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dawn actually asked today if you're gonna be in costume or are you just gonna roll up in clothes because you didn't have time. And I said, ooh, 50 50. <laughs> no, I got costume. <laughs> okay. So, I was like, that's a crap shoot. We don't yeah. know until he and Steph roll out their car. It's, it's okay, <laughs> it's a rent fair. Just go there with a the fedora and says like, milady to everyone. Well, like uh... <laughs> medieval crow. <laughs> Looking at accessories Listen. today, and I didn't know if I wanted elf ears or if I didn't want elf ears. But I could get elf ears and a flower crown. Why wouldn't you want elf ears? Yes, why wouldn't you, <laughs> Steph? I mean, that's true. I was just oh. trying to see what tone they had for them, because if Skin I'm just going to have white ears, it's not no, going to look gotcha, right gotcha. on me. So okay. if they had, like, a more tan ear one, then that would work. Some Did all three do. of us think a different kind of tone when yep. she said it? Oh. Yes. <laughs> No, okay, so me and Jordan, because we don't see color, but Anthony I, sees color. So. I, 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 th I thought, I thought you, by tone you meant like vibe, you know, like yeah. the, the vibe of the <laughs> Ren Faire. Like, the would, vibe would of they, the ears? Would, would, would they accept elves here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, like night elf ears or like Lord of the Ring ears? Ooh, Steph, I want you to wrap, come around just bright purple or blue night elf ears. And that's it. Don't don't paint yourself blue. Just have blue ears. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, huh. interesting. You could do those sure. um those elf ears that are just metal. Or you know what I'm talking about, oh, right? Yeah. Think, how would you describe yeah. those? Yeah. I, um, I think I know there, what you're talking about. There are stores online that do have gradient skin color ears. So if you don't find them. Mm -hmm. And you want them, keep looking. They do exist. Uh, I know for a fact they do. I just have not looked for them. I've never needed them before. Yeah. Um, but well, I've, yeah, I've known. Because yours will be all white. Yeah, because it's, yeah. it's all default to me. So yeah. Yeah. Not or, my problem. Or, Steph, instead of going elf ears, get some satyr horns. Ooh. And get some big old horns. Yeah. 
I should you, look into that. They Norse. Steph, they now have them that will just clip in like a banana clip. <laughs> banana. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> clip. Ooh, horns would be fun. I didn't even think of that. Hey, I'll say horns are always a good time. I like it. Okay. Well, why don't you get you should get two horns to just be a a, a a bike horn so you want her to have just one horn like no no like a unicorn no no no, no, like no, two, no two so she's a bike horn oh so they he's being like a this. dumbass so i could just be <laughs> annoying to people <laughs> yes i'm two, just wondering if it's gonna be hot said. because that thing it, has like long sleeves but i heard it's, it's gonna be warm okay yeah, yeah. Welcome to spring. I think I'll be all right. I mean, there is there is water there, so there will be a breeze. But I've gone some years where the breeze is there is none, and you're just like, well, I'm just hot <laughs> and I'm in dust. It's like <laughs> it's like cosplaying and walking around. Yes. Outside Comic Con, exactly I think I'll be it okay. Yeah. It'll be okay. I've done it before. I, I should be fine. Okay. I'm gonna look into horns now. As you should. <laughs> well, don't do it right now while we're on the show. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm going to finish the do book also, that I never finished. Do it late at night in bed like we all do. But also this don't look up human horn. You don't want that. Or maybe you do. I, I'm, no no, no judging. Yet, it's true. A human uh, all right. I've got something Watch more related. Futurama, Steph. Yes, Anthony. I've got something related to this conversation. Okay. Uh, two weeks ago, I was on the Not Another Monday podcast. Shout out, Not Another Monday, Mark. Yo, yo. Uh, and <laughs> we came up with an idea that I think is pretty genius. And I think we all should take time to consider and make in our plans for when we die. Now, Shout we, out all the know, <laughs> we, we all know when we die, yeah, we have, actually. <laughs> there is somebody designated to delete our internet history. Yes. We've had this conversation. I We've had this conversation. Yes, that was we like have. three weeks but, ago. Oh, there's but more to add. Okay. This person now also has the responsibility to leave a sword in your hand. However you die, add a sword to it. Well, I died fighting awesome. an orangutan who had yeah, a sword. He does it once a year. Like, um, and and I, I take the sword as my as my prize after it, I die from my wounds. Okay, so just so I understand what you're saying yeah. mm -hmm. so you're saying that in the future i let's say um you die um however the means um i am i supposed to have already be there to put the sword in your hand because i feel that someone's going to call me and say that you're dead do i retroactively try and get into your body in the morgue and give you a sword i uh, no, it's your responsibility to rush to the scene Yes, but I would assume I am not the first phone call. Mm. I would like one of the three things: Probably either the, three. the original the Keyblade, top three, but not first. Like that would definitely be family. Quit, quit poking holes in this ridiculous concept. Oh, okay. It's oh, we're we're not doing a realistic concept. Okay, then I am down there. I'm gonna fly on my unicorn, my bi unicorn winged Pegasus, and I'm gonna put a sword in one hand and a fucking wand in the other. You were having some straight up D and D fighting shit. See, he went Jordan? like too far right th right yeah, the start there. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize this particular ridiculous conversation part. could go too far. My bad. Jordan, continue. <laughs> What part of this entire premise did you think was realistic? About? <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, Buster Sword. Just yeah, the Buster Sword in my hand. I wanted <laughs> either it. one or the three. It's either a Keyblade, a Master Sword, or a Buster Sword. Oh, Steph has to have the Buster Sword now. I will or, rise from my grave and give it to her. Now, Mark, like, I have questions. <laughs> or like a bottle of bubbles. Mark from Not Another Monday puts in our chat. Let's say I die from hanging myself while taking liberties at myself. Give me a sword to make it seem like I went out fighting. Do I'll you want you... us to take take the rope off and pull up no. the pants? Or no. do you want to just leave it like dick out and sword? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is the sword. Sword Hello. in one hand, sword in the other. <laughs> yep. A jug of bubbles. What? Weapon in like one hand, it. sword in the other. And a wand. Bubble wand. I don't know, making it more interesting. 
You sure oh. did. Okay, so she says bubbles, and it's totally fine. I make a fantasy reference, and oh, well, went that's too far. because there's actually a there's actually a <laughs> bubble mace in Elden Ring that if you use it, you shoot bubbles what? at people, and you can murder things with bubbles. Of course, there is. That's like the dubstep <laughs> gun in Saints Row, but for your fucking man. Dark Remember when? <laughs> Uh, Remember when we I got that and I was so excited to see that dubstep gun in action and it was just oh no <laughs> okay no. that's what it is I, yeah, I it, yeah. it was cool but I wanted them to do more with it. Remember and dubstep? I, yeah. yeah. Remember, I still listen to dubstep on the daily. Mm. Is Skrillex still alive? Yes, he Ooh. is still alive. As I had to ask Anthony once this serious conversation, <laughs> what is a Skrillex and can I catch it? <laughs> uh skrillex is an american no, I dj now i know what it is now <laughs> he's the guy that made ball. he's you the guy it. that made that song for the judge dread soundtrack that me and anthony like he, to laugh about a lot he was literally nominated for a grammy this weekend oh, this past was? weekend yes song? you know louis ck won one i think the grammys oh, is I really kind that. of lowering at this point so you know Oof. don't blame, blame the, the 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 judges yeah, I did hear about that today on the on um Philly D. Philly D. Uh, but yes, fuck Louis C.K. Uh, yeah. which is unfortunate because I I really liked him. Back to the sword. Yeah. How how do you think you're gonna die? Killed by, by an orangutan. Dragon, clearly. Oh, with the sword. Okay. All right. He, Steph is going to die <laughs> by smother. She's going to be smothered to death by some sort of cute animal that her dad forced upon her. <laughs> or my ghost. Oh, no. Or Jordan's ghost. All right. Steph, you know uh, it's true. In the top five uh, <laughs> possibilities of my death, a car crash is probably among them. I would like not to discuss the five possibilities of your death. Can we just go with the more comical side that you die by jerking off? Well, that well, Mark already oh, took you... that one, and I was avoiding the other darker four. I would like not to discuss the darker four because this is a fun time. That's why I went with number five, car crash. Car crash? You think? Could... You might as well say the funniest ways to go out, because that's more fun. I'm just, I just arms are off by an orangutan. I just feel like adding a sword. You know what, to Anthony? No, you're going to be doing death. what? I, I what? feel like you're going to you're going to be How doing. Do I die? Well, if you shut the fuck up, I'll tell you. you <laughs> you're gonna kill me? Is that it? That's one of them. That's now one of the new five. Anthony died. Well, that was number two. Like so. Interrupting Leland. Um, <laughs> okay, well, you're already there, so leave the sword, please, as you walk away. That's true. I, 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 I see you having some sort of mishap on a job because you regularly cut yourself quite often. So, <laughs> remember the thumb. Which one? Exactly. Like you, you cut yourself on that metal cylinder. You slice your hand open with your nephew's uh, plastic, and then there was knives. It, it, like twenty twenty one was rough on a lot of people for different reasons, but you almost killed yourself several times with just plastic. Hey, no, Steph. one of those was twenty twenty. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, my well, bad. yes, <laughs> yeah. Steph, Steph, remember that one scene in Marriage Story when uh, uh, Kylo Ren like drags the thing on his arm and he actually cuts his arm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Anthony. Sword. I've only needed yeah. stitches wait, for one of those. Anthony. I've never gotten. Yeah. Wait, I lied. I have. Instead of a sword. Okay. Li lightsaber? That yeah, is a sword. <laughs> it's a, a lit. Comment the fuck down, nerd. <laughs> Listen, he's, he's out of line, but he's right. Saber <laughs> is in the name. Yeah. Saber <laughs> is a type of sword. Um. Yeah. I, I I I like where you're going, but I don't think it works out the same. Okay. Because the concept of a sword in my hand infers perhaps some kind of fight happened. If I had a lightsaber, this just be like, God, this is the fucking nerdiest motherfucker I've ever seen. Look at him. He died with a goddamn lightsaber in his hand. This man never had sex. What kind of sword do you have? Uh I have a short sword. Uh, is that what you'd like to be found with a short sword? Ooh, uh, not a really get, tiny uh, another sword. one. That's called a dagger. Yeah. <laughs> I want a tiny sword. Yeah, Steph, like, they're called daggers. They're a one D four. Look, Steph, it's a tiny sword. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> Where, a knife. Where's mine? Which is a tiny sword. 
<laughs> not a knife. Um, I mean, if, if you if you don't have happen to have another sword handy, oh, yes, is this what we're doing? Are we just doing this now? Like... We're all get, we're all getting our weapons out. All right. <laughs> well, here's the other one that's in my pocket at all times. Like, <laughs> this isn't even a sword. This is a piece that Roseanne gave me and has a nice little dangly butterfly. Dingly butterfly. And, and Cornbread was... shows up with her machete. <laughs> Def, Steph, her you know pot for it. Her murder shetty that she found in the creek. Oh, yeah. I love how Anthony pulls up a box cutter. <laughs> That's something oh, I got. here. Ooh, I have one just like that. Those are good, right? What? Yeah, the, the brand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah oh, that's well, what I use at the store. Oh, there's the multiple brands? Car. I have yeah, a red dude. one in my car. Garden? Garden? All right. Okay, so Anthony's sword. Do you want a broad sword? Do you want to stay with a short sword? Do you want a claymore? Oh, claymore. I got the option. Get, yeah, give me a big ass sword. Please. Oh, a okay. flamberge. <laughs> A Flamberg, yes. That would so also we got, be good. So Jordan wants the Final Fantasy VII sword. Yes. You want a what now? I, I mean, a good bastard sword. It'd be fine. You know what? Okay. Um, and, and Steph wants a dagger. No, I right, don't want a sword. I just want a small sword. Like a short sword. Like a short sword. Like a sword, like a mini version of what a big sword is. I want That's a miniature a sword. A short sword is what you're a saying. Short sword <laughs> or a dagger. It's, it's right there in in the name. Short sword. So if I had a Buster Steph, sword that was hand size, that's a is great that sword. A dagger. That, no, that, no, that, that the Buster sword is a great sword. Steph, right now, since you have your phone out, just look up the sword of Achilles. That's the sword you want. Sword of Achilles. Sword. Of, I think I like, want a scimitar. Ooh, that'd be good. Yeah. Scimitar. Is that yeah, like the pendant? I'm partial to those when I play D and D. You could use those in Elden Ring. An S weapon, D eight damage. It's a or dex one weapon, of those, or one of those Pirates of the Caribbean ones. It's a saber. That's a saber. Yeah, yeah. Just like, but they've got uh, those really okay. cool innately um, things. Oh, yeah. on the, those are cool. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But not a claymore. They're like too big and stupid looking. You fucked dudes up with those. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I just don't like them. It does, it does cleave and bludgeoning damage. It does. I understand that concept. <laughs> a letter um, opener shaped like a sword, says Beck. I think that's what Steph is going for. I think she wants think a buster so sword, but is only six inches long. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly. I want a so, tiny sword. So she, she wants just a wants a knife. Opener. Yeah. She, she wants a knife. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, it's Steph, that. can I give you two? Because I feel if you had two, maybe some real shit was going down. Yes. Oh no! Perfect. Steph should have two sides in her hands, like like Raphael from Ninja Turtles. Ah. <laughs> well, okay. If those so count, of, those are cool. Instead of adding an air of mystery to your death, of like, uh -huh. why do they have a sword in their hand? You just want to die with toys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't think anyone's going to be surprised. Yeah. Or letter opener <laughs> version on, on the story of, gut, of, of of swords that I want. So either a mini keyblade or a mini buster sword or a mini master sword. Why can't I have all three? Nobody said you could. Hands, really. One's in the sheath. <laughs> One's in my chest. So something went down. And then oh, okay. I have two okay. others. Hang on. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Hang now, on. <laughs> now we have to dis disfigure a body. So now, now you're saying you want us to put a sword into your body after you're already dead. No, I thought we already did it. I thought this was like how they find you. So this is the death scene. So I just imagined me laying down with a tiny keyblade in one hand and then a mass and then like, you know, clouds sword in the other hand and then a fucking master sword just like in my chest and and no one could pull out the master sword except for the, for the chosen one <laughs> yes. the next step yes. that's that's how we choose the next step on the her, podcast her, her essence is in the master sword, sword. From her chest. <laughs> <laughs> we'll i like it step. it sounds interesting <laughs> the yeah and then step. you gotta find out the yeah. story what happened to steph I don't know. We just found her. She she had a really small keyblade in one hand and a tiny version of the Buster Sword in the other, and then the Master Sword was just in her chest. It was also a tiny version though, which is 
just confusing to everyone. It's, it's weird because yeah. it was so small. I don't see how it could have really killed her. Yeah. Maybe like, but it did. Abrased her skin. It went deep. But it it's enough the, that you the, saw the, just the handle, and then you're like, "What is this?" And then someone goes to pull it out, and it's the master sword. You're using way too much hand. It's more like just two fingers. Just whoop. Yeah. Like you're talking about you mini versions. Can fist thing if I want to. Wait, no, th that was bad. I didn't mean it in that sense. I just meant like you know, you can hold it with your fist. You can hold anything with your fist. <laughs> You hear, you heard it here first, folks. You can hold almost anything with your fist. <laughs> you sure Steph can. See, Stephanie oh. Aloysius Agnes. Water. <laughs> she fucking brought up water. Yeah, she's just showing everything she can I'm hold in her hand nearby. I'm holding my fist, hand, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so anyway, I think I think this is something we should add to the list of delete my uh, internet data history uh, and also put a sword in my hand. Yeah. I, I agree. I agree with these with with with, with that. <laughs> Please put a sword in my hand. We should also have it timed out that we get like an email that has your passcode on your phone. <laughs> oh, you just like show your phone oh. to like your face now. Like, oh, that's true. I forgot about that. They just have to yeah. open the eyes a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Well, I have that's noticed true. that since I'm um, getting this this phone and now everything oh, is like face. Sometimes yeah. the sun is bright. I'm like squinting or like it's too early in the morning and I'm like one eye uh, open and apparently my phone needs to see both of my eyes to uh, to unlock. Which... Does it say open Give, your give eyes? it some time. It'll learn. <laughs> it doesn't say open your eyes. Okay, that would be rude if it did. <laughs> it doesn't say open your eyes, but it does say, isn't it a little early for this? Oh, that's fair. Maybe looking at the phone is the they first thing I should do out. when I wake up. <laughs> I mean, it's the first thing I have to do because I have to turn off my alarm, you know? So. Oh, yeah, that's true. 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 But I don't need it to unlock to turn off the alarm. But, but I need to check my messages. They're not to me. It's just messages in general. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see what's happened in the Discord so I can exactly. not reply. <laughs> I, think, I think the first There's thing one channel. There's one channel I'm, 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 I'm posting in. It's just wrestling. That's yep. the only channel I'm, I'm uh, active in. I think one of the first <laughs> things I'll do in the morning is like kind of scroll like the area where it, it kind of like previews the, previews the messages. And then I'll see that someone was playing Hurdle or Wordle or Myrtle or Swiftle. The Taylor Sw or Swiftle or all the little games. And then all the sometimes Wordle knockoffs. Yes. Those. Yeah. But it's been fun. See, I've, I've been on the fence about playing some of those knockoffs. I don't want to get sucked into something that is innately kind of maybe dumb. Well, the I mean, one is fun. Yeah. Yeah, framed. Or the murder uh, one. The murder mystery one is interesting. Yeah, like the the, the good thing I'm not about good at it, the good fun. thing about these games in particular is just that yeah, it's just one thing a day. So you just sure. do the thing once you complete yeah. it. Cool. You don't have to worry about it for a whole day. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm and in it's a not, Discord and channel it's, where it's they It's not do even that. an app, so yeah. it's just where they a do website. it daily. Yeah. And it's yeah. fun to kind of just like this is like a group, like uh, I guess event. I don't know. It's just fun to kind of see. It's a trend. Yeah. 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 Are, do I don't we really have to post it anywhere do, for do the most to, part? Do we have but... to make another new uh, Discord channel in LRC for, for Wordle <laughs> stuff? I don't think so. I don't think anyone else will really play. It's just it's just R R D L E, yeah. for just all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so much fun. I've been having fun with those. The hurdle ones are fun. I like that <laughs> one too. Yeah, hur hurdle hurdle is pretty fun. Yeah. Except when it plays Madonna songs, I'm like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh yeah. But you know it's a Madonna song. Well, I, okay. The one time it was a Madonna song. Yeah. I only got it because Steph gave me a hint saying, oh, you don't even listen to this person. I was like, oh, it's Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one artist that Jordan doesn't listen oh, to. it was um, like a virgin. Touch for the very first time. Yeah, I think it was like a virgin, yeah. That's the lyric, right? Song. 
Yeah, that was on the list. <laughs> I thought Lucky Star was was the first. It, it, it is. I'm just. I, all right, all right. He don't. He don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. It's true. I don't know. Oh. When you say Lucky Star, thing. No, oh, the anime her song. I didn't mean to be accurate. I'm sorry. <laughs> they don't need to know that kind of stuff. Do you see that she's getting? Uh, people are concerned about her online right now. I, I saw that I, headline. Yes, I've been concerned about her for years. Yeah, but today, yesterday, she was on Instagram, um, and it looked like she just had a. Um, refreshing uh-huh like like oh, a fresh was that the a, filter thing yeah a saying? fresh one and she got real close to her phone camera um screen yeah. and then she like did this like i love you all and her she did like kissy lips but they were so angry and large and <laughs> full of things that like she looked insane and like the internet was very concerned it was very funny um, a fun fact from from Rovi. Apparently, the Mortal Kombat theme was inspired by a Scandinavian spiritual song. Turns out, it was uh, it was based on a Finnish hymn. Uh, Didn't you show us? Uh, you know, the fun thing about that is there was a oh. there's a there's a UFC event uh, like two weeks ago, and it was during the main event. One of the guys walked out to the Mortal Kombat theme, and he won. <laughs> oh, right on. <laughs> yeah, you better. If if you don't, you're just gonna look a fucking like, fool. Like he, it was it was a heavyweight match. The dude punched the other guy in the face, full force. He went. Out. Did his head come off? His head didn't come off. I was hoping for it because of Mortal Kombat, but it didn't. Did he fall down into a pit of spikes? <laughs> no, but he tested his might, and his might wasn't enough to withstand oh, that punch. God. These UFC fights are lame. <laughs> Get with it. I. I am literally standing in front of the door to the final boss in Elden Ring. Yeah. And, I'm, and I feel, com- I feel, feel conflicted. I feel conflicted. You don't want to end the game. Because on the one hand, I'm at 188 hours. I'm like, I'm going to push for 12 more. <laughs> you, I mean, probably fight this boss for 12 hours. I won't need 12 hours to beat him. Uh, How long will you need? I don't know. I would say, if I really put my mind to it, probably like an hour. Okay. Yeah. That's that's kind of what I would have kind of expected. Yeah. Like, I mean, granted, I th- you, you go first. I was going to say, like, I, th- I think some of the, like, maybe some of the tougher bosses in Borderlands 3 took me 20 minutes, maybe tor- maybe up towards 30 minutes. Mm. Yeah. I mean, so, uh, the, har- the, the hardest boss that I fought was at Millennia, uh, and that took me four days to beat. So, um... It's a fun fight. I really, I really like that fight so much. <laughs> Speaking of Borderlands, my brother's just put in a lot of time into Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. He's literally playing it right now. And once I finish Elden Ring, I can finally put some time into it as well and catch up to him. You ain't catching no. up to shit. <laughs> you very, very, <laughs> very <laughs> underestimate me. <laughs> yeah, Nile doesn't work from home. <laughs> He also does not play as much video games as I do. So, mm. um, yeah. how how is that that Tiny Tina game? I've I've been hearing relatively good things. Oh yeah, it's great. It's 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 all of the good parts of Borderlands, um, with actually better writing than Borderlands Three. Because granted, Borderlands Three had terrible writing compared to Borderlands Two. Uh, Borderlands Two is still the best in terms of writing, uh, but Tiny Tina's Borderlands is just right behind it. Um, there you go. And yeah, there's there's a lot of good things that they added to the game um mm-hmm. that was just annoyances from borderlands 3 so they're, they've kind of finally like kind of refined the formula for borderlands right on yeah there you go. I, th- I think it does help that instead of it just being oh you're in just a giant open world shoot stuff or or whatever go to these places shoot more things now it's actually like kind of level based so you have this giant overworld where you're running around as a figurine of yourself because you're playing buggers and badasses, which is just D and D. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. yeah this, then, that's the hook. Yeah, that's the hook for me. Yeah, and then yeah, and Tina is insane. So she will randomly say, "Uh, uh oh will no!" She change the narrative in real time. Yes. <laughs> nice. Yes. Stuff that's... like that happens. <laughs> right on. What kind of game is it? Is it still a first-person shooter? Or yes. Okay. Yep. Still first person shooter. Um, 
But then, yeah, during in the overworld, then it, then it's a third person thing. But there's still like interactive stuff you do in the overworld. But then you go into the level, back to shooting stuff. Okay. Yeah. So be, uh, having enjoyed Borderlands Three, I'd probably uh, be you interested in this one. You'd probably like it more because the D and D inspired stuff. Yeah, I mean that's because yeah. yeah. Now, like when you when you level up, you actually add a, a like a a point to your stats. So it's like, oh, I'll put one to strength or one to constitution, mm-hmm. whatever it's called. Yeah, you, there's actually that now. And then okay. there's still your your whole skill tree stuff too. And then yeah, man, I did not understand that skill tree. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. it. Yeah, yeah, it, it is pretty complicated. Yeah, it, it, uh, I, to me I it just, seems like yeah. You go first. I just stuck with one and just like kind of wrote it down and figured it out as I went. I, I figure specializing in one was probably the way to go anyway. Multiclassing in skill trees is rarely super effective. Yeah. Yes, but depending on how you want to play, it, it it could work out in your favor if you want to, you know, put points sure, into different things. That's that's a level of like good at games that I am not. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, Wonderland should be easier because um, once you pick your class, you have just basically the the one skill tree for that class, and then when you level up to a certain point, you can uh, you can dual spec. So say at the beginning, I picked a Clawbringer, which is um a spicy paladin basically um who who gets a little dragon companion and then oh, when fun. i hit lo- when i hit level 25 i could i can take on some of the abilities from one of the other classes like say a stabomancer which is a thief <laughs> the thief based uh class but they they specialize in backstabbing Controls undead uh no that's the grave warden ah oh, got it okay yeah duh yeah i know i <laughs> Oh man, sir! Like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Sorry, we got an airplane. I don't know. If you can hear it. Oh, is it yours? Yeah. Dope. Sorry, <laughs> I, I just didn't want to go because I didn't know how much it would pick up on the mic. Awesome, it's distracting <laughs> to bring it up. <laughs> Because I did not hear the airplane at all. No. Until- no. <laughs> oh, okay, perfect. Um, <laughs> but now we're really listening for it. <laughs> no, it's you guys gone get up now. To, you guys yeah. get up to anything interesting this past weekend? Uh, no, it was just a lot of running around with, with with my parents. So. I hung out with Tifa, and I've oh, never yeah. seen a dog aggressively attack my face after eating a banana. Not aggressive in a bad way, but she just like was really interested when I was eating a banana. And then when I sat down, she wanted to come up and she just kept wanting to be in my face. Well, she likes to lay on my chest as if it is a rack, like a legit rack or shelf. Like she's just on a shelf uh-huh. and she just rests there and then goes to my shoulders and then lays down. It's that's really sweet. And then yeah, um, I'm sure it is. Yeah, I cut her hair. Well, I cut her hair blocking her eyes and I realized that she was actually like oh, vision I... impaired <laughs> uh, by a lot with all the hair that covered her face. She's real emo. Yeah. So as soon as I cut it, she's been real hyper and real curious. It's a whole and new world now. Yeah, it is. A dazzling it really place is. she never knew. Yeah. Um, and then, and then just hung out with parents and whatnot. And my dad's really invested in her, and it's really sweet and hard. We're good because he's the one who fucking got it. <laughs> yeah. No, I know, but it's just like really cute. It's like having a kid at the house. It's a and puppy, I just of think course. he like it, it is a kid. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's just really sweet. You it's know, he'll dog. call me and he'll just be like, Steph, you know what Tifa did? And it's just like little cute things. He even made her her own little door called Tifa's door. And it, he made it so that, you know, she could never run out of the, like, out the house. They kind of had to make a, like, okay, so like at my aunt's place, they have like a barnyard door, if that makes sense, like at the front of the gate. Yes, yeah, so they live in the barn, got it. She like 
to be she's so fast and so tiny that she'll just follow you really quickly so instead of like really just telling her to shoo away as you open this gate so she doesn't run out my dad made this contraption that just like you have it go i don't know it, it's it's just like it's like one of those i don't it's like a gate for another gate if that makes sense i don't know how to explain it's it. a dog door it's a dog oh, door to prevent tifa from running out yes <laughs> Okay, because is that what she's been like trying to explain? Door? Yes, a fucking dog door. Yep. I mean, it doesn't look like a dog door. Like it's because not the traditional hole door, in, the, in a door, a, a like hole in the wall, or a door that she can run out of. And this is just so like it's just like a a partition <laughs> to stop. I guess that's what Tifa it's called? from running out of the door as you're walking out of the house. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Okay, so like. This is what I mean by invested. I told my dad, like, all you need is a board to block the way to just kind of shoo her so you could just close the gate. And he's like, nah, I'm going to build something. And I'm just like, it, it, it's not really that necessary, dad. Like, you could just do this. And then the morning, uh, like the next morning, my dad was just like, hey, Steph, check this out. And he full on built a door. And I was like, all right. All right, Steph, yeah. the, I, I need you to do two things. One. Uh, send that the the video of them the using the door. Send that to the <laughs> LRC chat, and then two, post that on our Instagram so people can see what you're talking about. And yes, Rovi, it's a baby gate. That's ah, just, yeah. just what it is. It's like a yeah, it's like a foldable baby gate. I guess that's what you call it. I didn't know what to call it, but like, uh, not to. <clears throat> Not to deal with right this wonderful no, gold topic that we we've ventured into, um, I just now got Robi's joke and I thought it was really funny. That's all. I just want to throw that. Oh, uh, which joke? Oh, the baby. The finish him. The the, the Mortal Kombat joke. Oh, from twenty minutes ago. <laughs> I've been thinking about it the whole time. <laughs> it's a good thing you're pretty. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, back to Steph not knowing what the fuck uh, a dog door or a baby gate is. Steph, I also need you to do something. To Next time you hang out with Tifa, I need you to get on video of that thing that dogs do when they're standing there and they don't know what to do, so they just sit down, just right where they're standing. I need you to get me a video of Tifa doing that. Oh, okay. Sure. Because to to me, that's the funniest slash cutest thing in the world to me just a dog just standing there just like looking around huh. i don't know what to do right now and they just sit and then they just, <laughs> just sit just yes. sit in the middle of the goddamn room yes just staring <laughs> yep i really like that don't know why just do mostly because of trevor because in the middle of just middle of nowhere just just sits down. <laughs> like, why are you he sitting gives there? Up, gives up on his agenda. Yep. God, she's so tiny. So cute. Um, yeah, that's all I've been doing. And shows. What I'm shows, back. Steph? I've been watching Ted Lasso again since Jordan finished Ted Lasso. Yes, I've you finished season. I finished yeah. season one and two of Ted Lasso. Yes, I have. Great. It's a good time. I enjoyed it. So good. Uh, so me and, my, me and my brother, we just started Bel Air today. Oh, I want to start that. Oh, how is that? How is that? Intense. Very interesting. Uh, and yes, very intense. Because the one intense. little fight involved a gun, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I yeah, mean, I guess we had clip. to escalate it. Yeah. Yeah. And also, that's a more legitimate reason to have to, like, up and move as opposed to, like, getting pushed around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, where is that playing? Or where, where it's on playing? it's on Peacock. Paramount? It's on Peacock. Oh, Peacock. Uh oh, which it turns out okay. we we have we just have Peacock because of our ISP, so mm, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah. It. Also also it has below deck Australia, which is what my brother really wanted Peacock for. My boss watches those. Oh my god. <laughs> like I, I don't. I, I know of them through him, but apparently yeah. like him and his wife love to just sit there, get a it's bottle like, like a drink of beer and it's watch a reality these show. people just be terrible to each other. It's about cruises though, right? Yes. Yachting. Like yeah. People yachting. on cruises. Oh yacht yachting. People. Yeah, yeah. Yacht people. Okay. Yes. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's, it's just another reality show, but now it takes place on a boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Um, Leland, I believe, has, but have either of you two been on a cruise? I've never been on a cruise. Oh, I thought I I've never been you on a cruise. I no. would like to go I've on a cruise. I've been on boats. I've, but not yeah, I've, I've been on boats and ferries. Not not even near the and, same. And and yeah. other fantasy creatures. Yeah. I can count on one hand how many times I've been on a boat. So which hand? <laughs> <laughs> this one. Uh, <laughs> my so one? Uh, I've been on a ferry. So the one. <laughs> My sister is currently on a Disney cruise. Oh, I've wanted to mm. do that. For for five days going like down Mexico way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um my brother in law's family is doing like a big kind of like family get together reunion thing uh on the Disney cruise because they apparently had more money than uh it looked like. Yeah, um, those aren't cheap. They are not. No, no not I've looked at all. into them. They are not cheap. Yeah. It's it's like especially the Disney cruises. Oh god, $5, yeah. Five thousand dollars yep. for five mm. days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You you gotta buy it way in advance. Yeah. 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 Um, so cruise. Yeah, <laughs> I am. On, I'm totally down. I Same. really want to do Look, the cruise to Alaska. That's I, the one. Well, that's yes, the one that I want to do. Yeah. Now yeah. I don't think I can do one. So that's why I've never really. Oh, like, do you think you're gonna get? Yeah, sick? do you get seasick? I, it's it the vertigo may be a thing oh, because gotcha. of the rocking. But I have been informed from my father, who also has vertigo, when he went on his Alaskan cruise with my mom. You couldn't tell. He couldn't tell, except when the water got real choppy. And the problem with that is if you know it's not like a normal boat where like, mm. hey, maybe it'll just work itself out. If the water's choppy, it's choppy for hours. Yeah, because you're just stuck. You're just stu- you can't water. walk. You can't control the yeah. water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is, so, has anybody in the chat um been on a cruise? Can 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 they kind of like at a way in on? But I've how also much been told they're like feel? floating cities that you do yeah. not feel anything. Mm-hmm. So that's, I'm like, maybe that's the best chat. way to describe it. Yeah. yeah. Like you can you can not see the water for your entire trip if you didn't want to. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. I'm not opposed to it. I just. I don't know. It's just for the money. I just. Yeah. But it's a vacation, yeah. you know. Like. Sure, I get you. But maybe maybe not a Disney cruise though. You know, maybe something. Yeah, just a regular cruise. I just. Yeah. I don't want to go south. I don't need to go to the Bahamas. I do not give a fuck about your son. Oh, do you uh, want to do a booze cruise to Mexico? Yeah. No. no. Like we're I mean, I'd do a booze cruise. Of course <laughs> you would. <laughs> I mean, I could. I would. I really want to do I, holy ship. That'd be really. That'd be really. Fun. A booze cruise from the fridge to my room. That's yeah. As far as I'm cruising, uh, uh, cruise, Alaska cruise. would be cool because yes. you get the sea. Yeah, yeah. that's you know, what I want to do. Yeah. I really want to do that one. one. We could watch a polar bear just like utterly destroy somebody. It'd be great. Do you think there's polar bears alive out there? <laughs> Maybe I two. mean, if, if we can get out there soon, there might still be a couple. Um, thank you. Uh, guess- still getting away with it in chat says it's uh, you get used to it, which I I believe. I I feel that like um, the the problem with going on a Disney cruise, as much as I love Disney and all that nonsense, that's too much Disney. Yeah. Well, it's too much Disney, also too much kids. But oh, but yeah. on the Disney yeah. cruise, do you do like do you have people in costume walking? Like, can I can they I be do. at yes. can I be at the buffet and then Goofy walks like, huh? you want some of this food, motherfucker? And then I, I mean, say, yeah, talk, sure, Goofy. But yes, yeah, they they've never talked S- before. Strangely enough, uh, Mike, not Miami, the other Mike, Anthony, you've met Mike a few times. They just got back from one like last week, oh, yeah. and 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 I saw some of the photos, and it was just like it was way too much disney i mean they had every night was like a themed night they had to bring costume changes for them like this is a vacation wow. i don't want to have to bring costume change yeah yeah <laughs> you know like i'm pretty sure that's more of a them thing than it is look, like a regular people thing well look, you, you mean a disney I'm, thing if i'm a on a disney thing. cruise if i'm on a yeah. disney cruise and i have to change outfits i'm just donald ducking it the entire time <laughs> um uh, no, I, I was I mean, talking to my brother. And- revive, there is a Star Wars one on the Disney something. Has They added a whole Star Wars section recently. Oh. 
There's no water in Star Wars. There's an entire uh -huh. planet of water. The whole planet. Half of Naboo? <laughs> no one cares about Naboo. I know, but that doesn't uh, negate the fact that it fucking existed. I mean, Calamar is all water. Also true. We didn't even go there. So that's that's two and a half planets. And Camino. We went to Camino. Camino. That's the one I was talking about. That that's all just means water. streets in Spanish. No, it doesn't. With the sea, it does. <laughs> Doesn't it mean horse? I mean, aren't we all just streets ahead now? Camino? No, that does not mean Blocks horse. Behind. <laughs> so I, mean, I was driving the street <laughs> in high school, not the horse. <laughs> the streets that you're wait, the streets that you're from. <laughs> yeah, where okay. the streets have no name. <laughs> <laughs> There's an age limit to that joke. <laughs> um, no, I was talking to my brother-in-law about the about the whole thing. Because we were joking around of like, you know, oh, they got like movie theaters. You could see like they saw um, when they did it last time. Um, uh, Spider or like the previous Spider-Man was was like in theaters and on the ship and whatnot. Mm, so we're like, no. oh, you think Morbius maybe? No, uh, very unlikely. But the entire the entire boat skews too young to despite enjoying Disney um, as I do to a, like a regular person level, like what Leland said, it's just too many kids, not enough like adult entertainment um, yeah. that like, um, you would have to pay my entire way to do a Disney cruise. That's fair. There was a goth cruise at one point. Um, Beck, uh, please send me literature to your uh, religion here. I would like it, to hear more. It, it was on a pirate ship, um, uh, and uh, uh, and it, everyone, no one left their rooms. It was all it was entirely sad. covered. There was, was no outside deck that, that where the sun can hit you. <laughs> yeah, it was just it was, it was just a bunch of real white men and women walking with like old 18th century parasols, just gliding <laughs> down the hallways. <laughs> It was, it was the ship. It was, was it, it, it's very much the Queen Mary of Dark Harbor, which I hope you'll see this year at Halloween time. So, fucking Beck. Every time you get sick on deck, there was always a cure. Damn it. <laughs> right. And at this point, it could be Robert Smith. So, huh. um, there, there's, there's a lot of themed cruises that conceptually seem interesting. I know there's, um, there's a big nerd cruise that happens. I cannot think of the name off the top of my head. Um, I think there's now a straight up like D and D cruise, or at least like a role playing cruise. There's a wrestling cruise for. I mean, they, they all have JoJo. Yes, JoJo is the one I was trying to think of. I mean, yeah. like they have. I mean, Star Trek has one. Supernatural has one. I mean, I'm fuck. I'm sure if you look deep enough, Highlander has one. Like, there's always themes. I'm listening. There was a Backstreet Boys cruise but, that But there could yes, be only one. I know someone who went on yeah, one. Yeah, I know I know yeah. a few people who went and I was wow. like, that looks fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, Howie so it, was the only one who showed up. It sounds like <laughs> let me oh, I gotta click this link. Um <laughs> it sounds like with just like a moderate level of um pop like uh, uh fandom, you could just throw your convention on a cruise. From what I understand is that for the lesser known IP, say like a Star Trek cruise is all Trek. Yeah. But like, let's say, like for a better example, a Supernatural cruise, they only have some of the cruise. So there are people on this cruise that are just uh... there for vacation that also just stumble onto like, oh my gosh, there's, uh, there's this there's whole thing happening. going on too. So, you so know. it's kind of like how, like, invariably, if you go to a convention center, there's just a cheerleading uh, convention yeah, happening at the same time. Always. Or there's happening. always like a cheer one. Or remember that a couple times, Anthony, we went, there was always that porn one down in the barracks of the LA Comic Con. You're mm -hmm. just like, oh, of course there's a porn one going on at the same time, this is. Was that not you? No, I don't think that was me. Oh. I think my first E3 was the first time the. Um, the porn awards weren't in the same convention center. Oh. That was a disappointment. Oh, RIP E3. <laughs> poor, poor one out for E3. We don't need to. Uh, the SAO yeah, was dumb anyway. The, the, yeah. the world is not losing anything. Nope. Yeah. 
the, the, the second COVID hit and everyone's just like, oh, we don't need to pay the ESA tens of thousands of dollars for a booth when we could just put on our own event for the same yeah. price. <laughs> also not allowing a mass, uh, I don't know, everyone to go to it. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Seven days for this goth cruise. That's a long ass time. Yeah, no, I looked at one of the, um, I looked at one of the Alaskan cruises and I think it's from LA to Alaska. I forgot where it went, but um, it was a 14 day, but it was saying that it was like per person, it was around like maybe 1500, which is actually not bad for it being two weeks. I hear that. And I think what's the catch? I think it's and too what's much. wrong with that boat? Yeah. I yeah. think that's too less money. Yeah. And I feel you're you're gonna get like a two star boat and not a oh, like a Disney this is carnival, not like, though. Yeah, that's a two star oh, boat, Steph. Okay. You don't like carnival? <laughs> What's wrong with carnival? There's a lot I've of things always... wrong with carnival. Yeah. Oh, was, mm, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, my thing is that's if what you're I was gonna... looking for for Alaska. <laughs> no, if you're gonna my thing and Anthony, this is this is where it's gonna be hard for you to wanna do this. Okay. If you're gonna do this, because you're only gonna do it once maybe once or only out. ever once every 10 years or something you go big yeah. you may have to actually shell out some money to have a good experience yeah fair okay. yeah. yeah so for 1700 dollars, i can get a one-person cabin on the goth cruise uh, to start <laughs> i feel that might be too much sadness for you after day four uh i don't know how many people do you think actually come back from the goth cruise? <laughs> Listen, that crossed my mind. <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up because it's a real downer. Because <laughs> it's just it's just on the other end of too real. They're like, I'm going on this cruise so I can become a ghost and haunt this cruise later. <laughs> That's their plan. Hmm. All right, it's been an hour. I'm going to pull up the thing. <laughs> For a four-day Alaska sampler that goes to Vancouver, Canada, to Seattle, Washington. that comes out of one port, I guess. Uh, an interior room is $199. That does not sound correct and i'm afraid for anyone who goes on that particular cruise yeah it's the princess cruises 199 dollars. granted that's that might be covid prices because no one's going on cruises right now because they know they'll die i'm gonna <laughs> say i'm gonna bring mm. four people with me um in chat uh one uh number between one and 61. one and oh, it's they have hella deals they have hella deals right now. That's all yeah, it is. Yeah, because because it's all pandemic deals. Yeah, yeah. Two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars for the cheapest Star Trek cruise price. Yeah, but what does that include? Does that include all the um, the meet and greets? Sometimes there's like they add shit on there that you're like, oh, I didn't know the I needed the meat of uh, that one crew member from that one episode. You know does it mean? include food and alcohol? Uh, Alcohol, no food. Probably. Covered food Round is trip, always covered. Uh, always. All performances, interviews, parties, and events presented on the cruise. You have access to all of it. All meals, um, as part of the included dining experience. Non bottled beverages such as coffee, teas, and juice. Uh, recreational facilities, the uh, amenities, shit. A TV in your room, which is probably for the cabins on top of you. Um, in room TV and movies. That sounds look, like a lot of microtransactions on top if of I'm shit that you don't really probably. Need. I don't yeah. give much shit about going all out for the room as I do being around everywhere. Else. I'm not, you not you say like that, that now. You say like, that now. I don't now. care about interior rooms. I don't need a window. Oh. Oh no, these rooms do not have windows. Yeah, yeah I don't I care. I don't need the windows. These are interior be on a boat. rooms. So yeah, I don't what, mind what, interior rooms. What I'm hearing is, Steph and I are willing to go on a Star Trek cruise with you guys if you're down. Because I want to go on a cruise in general. I don't care if it's Star Trek themed. We could we could do better. I'm going to Star Trek Con in Vegas. I'll let you know if I want to <laughs> be with those people on a cruise where I can't first. leave. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, <laughs> that's the problem. This is what I was getting at. The problem with these, like, theme cruises is, yeah, they're exciting for the first two days. And then you realize I'm stuck seven days with the woman that thinks she's going to marry Jensen Ackles at the end of this trip. It's okay. He didn't come on when, that when, cruise. When <laughs> nobody's looking, 
throw her overboard. You don't want to like baby her. Give her the know. old Natalie Wood. You don't want to like feel you're stuck on a cruise with those people and you have nowhere to go. That's why you just remove them from the equation. <laughs> you want a whole seven week cruise to start off with, or do, would you want to try the three or seven four? Seven week? Because they cruise? have. Do you mean seven days? Sorry, seven days. Yeah, because they have days. the three. They have like three or four day cruises. I would do a three day to a four day to give it a shot and be like, oh, yeah, that's what I mean, just I to see. To toe, and then when I realize I can't do one, then I'm good for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. Also, all they have is buffets, I think, and ew, right now. So, mm. also you... ew before. Oh, really. I watched a really good documentary on Amazon buffets? about. Uh. Um, well, it was like no, 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 no. It was about a uh, like the she thought cruise it was about ship. Buffets it was actually about the fonts. Lives Cru cruise ship. She Living thought about cruise? buffets was just about people getting beat up. I have nothing to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Not even uh, that Steph, important. You broke her. Steph, I think my dad watched that same show documentary thing yeah. and was fucking like engrossed into all of the information he learned about like yeah, what goes in like lot. how many like tons of like food and water go How into a ship. How many croissants they make a day? Yeah. Croissants? Like more than like a the thousand something. Yeah. They even have. They Imagine even... how many they throw away though. Yeah. Oof. They even had a, a thing where it was like. The ocean. They have, <laughs> because they have to yeah, cut the so much. They, and they're yeah. like, they gotta bring it all back. They're like for cutting cake. They have this machine that uses water to slice the cake. Like, it was so interesting. They have, like... That's, you know, fucking taking so jobs machinery. away from someone who could cut cake. They took our no, germs. No, they have they so many people germs. already. Everyone has a job on there, and it's insane. Like, yeah. it's just crazy how it's just like a... Like, the lady was talking about, like, okay, if their laundry machines don't work, clearly... Like it backs up everything. The people can't set up the tables. They can't set up the rooms. The people can't do this. And then they have this one. I forgot what they call it. It was like Route 99 or something like that. But like inside of a cruise ship, there's like two doors on both sides. And that will connect to the whole, like, obviously it connects the whole way across. But that's how everything gets in and out when it comes to like, um, like all their supplies all mm. the laundry going through Secret quarters, and, and like it's all yeah. like it's so wild it was the most informative hour and a half i've watched <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i didn't even I, think my... i cared to watch about it and then i was just like i'm intrigued it's the magic my of documentaries enthusiastically yeah. was telling me about this and he doesn't get enthusiastic about many things outside of sports yeah, I sure. I got excited. I told my dad, and he sat down and watched too. And I was like, "I'll watch this again because yeah. <laughs> it was that interesting." Yeah, no, I thought it was wild. All right. Yeah. Number thirty-two this this week. Mm. Your taste in men. Out of these okay. three options. Oh, okay. John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, or Diego Luna. I need yes. to look up who Diego Luna. That's is. my answer. Yes. Can I? Not not on the list, but I just saw a photo of him yesterday. No, it has to be on the list. No, no. Everyone needs to know. Jonathan Majors. Oh my is god, yes. Fucking buffing up for Creed 3. And holy shit. I want him to hold me. Fine. Oh my was god. Jonathan Majors. He the, was the lead in the, the um, one who remains. He was he was the lead Diego in person first. Let me look Diego up Luna, Steph. Diego Luna. He was the I'm rogue one. Yeah, he was a Mexican guy oh, in Rogue, he's Rogue King. One. Yes. Yes. Also oh. King. Motherfucker was already buff. How much buffer can he get? More. He like more. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't I don't know. Like he was a good looking dude before, but like for some reason, like maybe it's just the angle of this one photo I saw. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, Jonathan Impressive. Majors. Yeah. Impressive. John, just like Google Jonathan Majors Creed 3. Yeah. Just um. Mm. All right, Boyega, Isaacs, or Luna? Yes. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong. Yeah, like there's no yeah. wrong answer here. 
Chris. Like I, I'm personally leaning towards uh, a John Boyega because of the British accent. Just I would like yeah. to hear him say things to me oh, in, but in the British you, accent. Oh no, Kang can't be this buff. That's not a super villain <laughs> physique. That's, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I I hear you. I hear you, Jordan. But as Oscar Isaac apparently has a very authentic he, British you know what? accent. <laughs> you know what? And that did throw oh, me shit. off. I'm like, wow, that that is he's that's a British accent he's doing right now. <laughs> he is fucking going for it. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it's plot driven why it's so that's I'm yeah. waiting to see. Yeah, is is it gonna be revealed like why it's so extra? <laughs> uh, um Oscar Isaacs for my pick. Again, there's no wrong answers here. <laughs> there is no there there yeah. really isn't. Um I mean, my my Mary fuck kill of these three is Ooh. like Ooh. Diego Luna gets killed. Like, of he he is my third place. He's yeah, fine, yeah, but like, yeah. I, but my, I, I, why I'm he's my third enamored. is because we haven't seen that new show yet. What new show? <laughs> His Andor show that might actually come oh, out this year. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, and that, that's that's my issue. I've only ever seen him in just uh, Rogue, Rogue One and, One. Yeah, and like yeah. two episodes of Narcos. You know, like that's. <laughs> That, that, that's all my exposure with him. Um, Revi, I know you're a big uh, Diego Luna fan. Uh, would you give like some recommendations of like other things to see him in? Yes, please, 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 please do that. But Itu Mama Tambien was that his like beginnings? Itu Mama Tambien. Yeah. Uh, Look, I'm not. I don't speak the language very well. I'm trying my best here. Like, <laughs> was the movie about? I I think it was actually, about a movie. It was I think it was him and Gabriel. Luna. <laughs> no. Brian. He's in The Bad Batch. That was that movie you brought up before, Anthony. The, bad the cartoon? Batch. No, no, no. The, the, the movie that has the like bad a lot batch. of people, like Jim Carrey's in that movie. Like, isn't Batista in that Jason movie too? Jason Momoa's in it. Keanu Jason Momoa. Reeves, Suki Waterhouse, Arlen, oh. Diego Luna. I kind of oh. remember mentioning this, but I had completely yeah. forgotten that such a movie existed. I need to find yeah. that. Um, Netflix, right? Netflix, yeah. 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 All right. You too. Now, see, maybe that word. You too, mama, también. You too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, and Diego your mama, Luna too. And um, Gail Garcia Bernal. Oh, okay. No, nothing. Okay. Well, nothing. Um, I've seen more films than you people, apparently. So. Yeah, you're the film guy. Yeah, you're yeah, literally you the know. film guy here. Like, nobody challenges that title. I, 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 I gave you the link to challenge. Framed and you got everything first go. Like, oh, I know this movie. This is <laughs> blah, 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 from blah, 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 directed got, by. I got, I got real mad when it took me three tries to get to Goodfellas. I was fucking pissed. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Something bad just happened? No, I'm wondering, oh. depending on the frame, how long it might take me to get Goodfellas. I mean, the frames that I saw, because they don't ever show you all five. Like, once you get it, you're done. Mm -hmm. But it was all, like, subway, car. Yeah. I got it at a dinner Deliber table. Deliberately difficult ones. Yes. I, I, I got it at a dinner table, and I don't even know how I pulled it out of my ass. It's like, oh, it looks like Goodfellas. But, like, the actors are still in the frames, right? Nope. nope. No oh. actors. Nope. Oh. Sometimes you get, like, a headshot from behind. Okay, yeah, and, that and, definitely and, makes it tougher. And this yeah. is why I can't, I just can't do it. <laughs> Look, I got guarded. I got midnight in the garden of good and evil on the first try, and I was like, wow. "How the fuck did I pull that shit out?" I've only seen that movie once. <laughs> yeah, and no one else has even heard of it. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what you just said to us. <laughs> Shut up. S Steph isn't even googling it. That's how. That's how like that's, off the yeah. wall that was. <laughs> Do we want to uh, do another question? I'm 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 gonna go Oscar Isaacs too. I think I think yeah. me and him would have like more stuff to like relate and talk about. Yeah, John Boyega, Steph. I don't know out of them. I don't really know them. Um. Did you did you Google them? Yeah, John Boyega's. I I remember him from from the Star Wars and also from, from the Attack Star the Block Wars. and Attack the Block. I knew him from Attack the Block first. Um, and then Deep that other that guy, first. what is it? Oscar, Oscar Isaacs. Oscar he's, Isaacs. He's yeah, an ex machina. Isaac. He's Have apocalypse in X Men <laughs> Apocalypse. 
I, until you I said that, I, that. I had forgotten about that. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, I forgot I about that. Yeah. <laughs> You I took did. one of the most beautiful men in the world. You were like, you know what? Let's just slap a bunch of bullshit on his face so you can't really tell who it is. Not making him Egyptian oh and God. change his entire power set and then set him walking around in Egypt. You're like, cool. I, I, when, when I saw Apocalypse, I, all I could think of, oh, that's the one villain from Guardians of the Galaxy 1, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I don't even remember his name. That's how bad it was. You're talking about Yondu? No, Yondu no. wasn't the villain of Guardians of the Galaxy yeah, 1. I, I, uh, I know, but I don't remember anyone Ro, else. Ro, Ro, Ronan, Ronan the Enforcer. Oh, yes, Ronan the Enforcer. The Accuser. The Accuser. Because oh, yeah, yeah. right, he's got that same kind of like Egyptian fucking thing going. He had, he had a funky headdress yeah, looking like a yeah. nun or something. Yeah. So yeah, we have had, two for... A sexy space habit. We, we have two for Oscar Isaac and we have uh, one for John Boyega. And Steph is not oh, paying she, attention. No, I'm laughing because I'm looking at the IMDb of Oscar Isaacs and I'm trying to see what movies I've saw him in first. Sucker Punch? Sucker Punch He's was Sucker one Punch, of the first yes. ones I would have said. But apparently he was in All About the Benjamins, too. Wow, really? Yeah, he was Francesco. I I'm not gonna don't remember, remember that, who but he was yeah. in there. But, he probably yeah. got shot. Oh, no. I mean... <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just, just saying, with like, their it, butts and choose that way. <laughs> and then he was in Robin Hood, but I don't really remember Robin Hood that much. Which, Which Robin one? Hood? Yeah, probably the, the one 2010 with Taron, one with a uh, Russell Crowe or Taron. It's probably the Russell Crowe one. The Russell Crowe. Yeah, that's Crow Russell Crowe. Yeah, no you, one saw that fucking. You movie. know, I I saw parts of the Taron Edgerton one at the gym. How bad it, is it? Yo, I'm so down for. It. I want to watch the whole movie, but with sound. <laughs> okay. Well, Taron Edgerton, it? it's not bad. Like I. Oh, wait, you no, saw it? Was fun. No, I'm thinking of oh. the one with the Sons of Anarchy. Robin Hood. Oh, no, you're thinking Knights, that's uh, King Arthur, which is fucking metal. <laughs> that movie is fucking metal. But, but yeah, the Robin Hood with Taron Edgerton, the action scenes, it's just Kingsman, but with a bow and arrow. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I've seen I don't those want trailers anyone... for the longest time, and I thought it was fine. I don't want anyone sleeping on Beck's Throbin Hood. <laughs> Oh, we, we, I was just choosing New Norgan. Oh, no, hold on. we can't Wait, sleep on that. Scott has something to say. It's Oscar Isaac. There is no S at the end. <laughs> I mean, I've been saying Oscar Isaac, oh, right? Oh, I've been saying Isaacs. I think yeah, I to be open. <laughs> I don't remember now. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce stuff. Can, wait, can Why we say them all Isaac? with S's at the end? John Boyega's. John Boyega's the Diego Luna's. <laughs> yeah. There's multiple moons in this one. Yeah. Um, speaking of uh, uh, um, Oscar Oscar Isaac's older brother Pedro Pascal, uh, I saw him in uh, The Bubble, which just hit Netflix. Oh, I'm I was curious about that. It's fun. It's, okay. It's a fun movie. Uh, the concept is they're making a movie in COVID. So they're ah. all trapped in a hotel, and yeah. that isolation is driving them crazy. Oh, okay. The eccentric actor stuff is a lot of fun. It's a great fucking cast. Um, the downside is anytime they mention COVID. <laughs> mm. Shane said uh, Pedro Pascal is really funny because he's like got he a, the hots is... for um, fucking Daisy Ridley as like a Peloton instructor or something. <laughs> he's hallucinating her oh, okay. as his Peloton instructor. Which wow. is actually only one scene. Oh, so really? It's amazing. Oh, okay. it, oh, it's bananas that it's Daisy Ridley. I look okay. at it like it couldn't be because this is it. This is all she's in. But it really looks like Ray. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, uh, Shane no, said it was a good. He he said the acting and the talent was there, but he said like after a certain point he just stopped laughing. And I was wondering, I was like, was that when they started the COVID stuff? Like, <laughs> yeah, like COVID's kind of. Uh, uh, always there. I think yeah. I, I do think it probably st it starts better than it finishes. He kind of um, said that, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, just throwing it out there. Anyone who's got like the ninety minutes or something, it's it's not very long. Or no, it it's is two only... hours. Oh, okay. No, it is two hours. Now that I think about it, uh, it's it's worth a watch. Um, but yeah, P Pedro Pascal, fucking, yeah. he's he's tops in that one. Yeah, like because I only saw like maybe. 30 uh, i'll say like five seconds of the trailer for it and i saw oh kiki michael key oh sure i'll, I'll give it a watch <laughs> yeah and he's fun but he's he's not nearly as as big in, uh, to the whole story it's it's <laughs> largely um focusing around um 
uh, fucking Amy Pond. Um, oh, Karen Gillan. Karen Gillan, yeah. She's the um, central character. Okay. Do, do you want to do another quick question? Uh, if you got a quick one, sure. Sure. Um, uh, Revi put number two in the uh, thing, so we'll just roll Ooh. with that. Uh, All right. What, Dangerously close to the hot topic. <laughs> what role would you be on a pirate ship? Didn't we we just like we did this. this. Did we? Did we? Yes. It was what, what uh, I think it was like, uh, we went Star Trek. But I don't, I don't know if if it oh. was specifically related to like a sci-fi. No, or no, if we no. Just went that way. The question was, if we could pilot any ship, what would it yeah. be? I and mean, we all went, we all went sci-fi. I and then guess we and I went yeah. Battle LA. Yeah. 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 Oh, but but, right. but <laughs> wait, but is isn't this question though? What position we'd be what on a role? pirate ship? It's a pirate ship, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. What role would we play on the pirate ship? So we're all on the same ship. What role would we play? Like, who's the captain? Who's in the galley? Who is scrubbing I'm the, cook. the deck? <laughs> I'm the captain. You're the engineer. Uh, I'm there for moral support. Leland, you muted yourself. <laughs> no, yes, you're you muted. You're 100 percent muted. You muted yourself in Discord. I don't even know how I did that. I didn't touch a god. I thought thing. you were coughing or something. I thought you yeah. were coughing. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to hit yourself. M and then you're like, oh, that's me myself. I just... magical powers. That's who I'm on the ship. I'm the pirate magician. <laughs> don't no, take I'm the cook. this role. I'm the cook. I'm just the cook. I'm I'll tell you why I'm the cook. Support. Because no one kills the cook. <laughs> Depends on how they cook. I'm a good cook. And I will continue to be a good cook to live. <laughs> That's fair. All right. If you think that question's trash, we can do another one. Uh, I, I can quickly grab some would you rathers. All right. Do that. Do it. Oh, do go. it. I'd be out here maintaining the cannons. I mean, I, I feel, I, I feel Rovai's heart's a little broken, but that's fine. We don't have to, we don't have to mend his little heart. I mean, is there, is there any other role for me other than captain? This, you, this? Yes, there's a uh, 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 lookout poop deck scrubber. <laughs> I don't true. think that's the rule. That's the role I would have. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, okay. We're on a pirate ship, and this thing is mostly made of of wood. So I feel like Anthony would be more of the engineer. You know, he'd be fixing <laughs> shit on on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, I need also, a repair tool. I, I think I think I ended up uh, when we did the, the the topic. I was some kind of courtesan slash engineer. Yes. Slash yep. <laughs> that sounds right. Sometimes captain. I'm and really I sure. and I was security. <laughs> it's because I have no other roles I could do. Rovai, I'm being realistic. I'm there for fucking moral support. You're and because crash. I don't director. know what else I could do. You're you're the party planner. <laughs> yeah, itinerary is director of the the Pacific Princess. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the navigator you tell us where to go hey guys go right well not that far she go makes back, the go flag go back go back go back go back <laughs> yes she makes the flag can you sew stuff no okay. i mean i sew to do it uh, okay i don't have sewing skills but i will patch up and sew something in the way that i think works i don't sew i just have the ability to sew conceptually we all understand how it works it's yeah. just if it it's just it's, if it I holds. Just, yeah, that's all I just need to do its job and I've I've been able to do it. Oh, Rob yep. put you up in the crow's <laughs> nest, Steph. You're you're at the top, man. You're just You're, you're at the top. You're, you're looking out there. with the with, with, with yeah. the uh uh with telescope? My, uh, Is that the right or by or, or binoculars, whichever. Telescope. Bi binoculars? Yes, <laughs> binoculars. <laughs> Uh, okay, here's the weirdest one <laughs> so far. It tickled me okay. so much. <laughs> here's the weirdest one so far I've put together. Oh, All right, sure. let's go. Um, would you rather yes. have a head the size of a tennis ball? Steph, what's that like? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> or have a small stream of chocolate pudding constantly leaking from your ear? Oh, Aww, I thought it was no. gonna be ass. Woo! I would rather have a small head. I will have chocolate because then I'd be very popular with people who like chocolate. Ooh. I like Jordan. He's like a he's like a he's like a chocolate man. I'm like he's that's, that's chocolate true. Man. He's he's like a fondue uh uh like a portable fondue man. 
Yeah. Okay, wait, wait. So the theory is that my head is shrunk to the size of a tennis ball. Tennis ball. Yes, yes. Like you're like that juice. one dude from Deep Beetlejuice. Like Beetlejuice. Yeah. yeah, that's what, exactly what we were all were thinking. <laughs> or, or chocolate or have, pudding that drips out your ear. Is the Eight. pudding chilled? No. It's warm. It is room temperature. I, I don't like the feeling of anything pouring out of my ear. I mean, but I like the feeling of people licking my ear, so I will go for the chocolate ear. Do you just put ear cups then? If it's going to be oozing everything? Because now you got chocolate pudding on your headphones. Could I plug it with a cotton? Uh, it, that'll probably cause some kind of problem uh, with you uh, mm -hmm. over time. Because yeah, it's a constant lit stream, so it's coming from somewhere. Jordan, can I have a, like a, just a brief aside with you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you may. Yeah, just just you and me. Let's let's come over here. Let's come over. All here. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, Leland, I'll be hanging out next to you. Yeah. Do you actually like it when uh, like someone's like nibbling on your ear? Oh, dude, absolutely. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I've had <laughs> several girls. I, you know, like, different try strokes. That. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. But like, I've never known anybody, and like, this does not come up in regular conversation. Surprise. <laughs> hey, you like your you like your ears nibbled on? Yeah. Something yeah. about like the sound being too close to my ear makes me cringe and like turn away. I've headbutted women when they try and get up to my ear. I'm like, ah, no, sorry, that was a reflex. I didn't mean to do that. I yeah, no, I I do not like it. <laughs> and it's and that's totally fair. If I'm being if I'm being incredibly incredibly let's honest, no, let's do it. Kind of gets me going, honestly. Okay. Like, okay, <laughs> not even kind of. It really does. <laughs> Got it. Everyone, write that down. <laughs> so, chocolate ears. Everyone take notes. Take okay. notes. Chocolate ears. Got it. <laughs> also, Steph, what's a ear cup? Revise one. Well, I just I just imagined if it's dripping, someone would in you know somehow you'd make like an ear cup to catch up all the chocolate. Pudding that's dripping out of your ears, or does this just drip all the time? And you're just like, "Oh, I'm sorry, all my bad. It did it again." All the time. It says a steady stream, a small steady stream of chocolate pudding. Do you eat your own chocolate pudding? Ooh. I mean, well, I was okay. That's you, where you I was got going some of the goods, baby. And then you said no. <laughs> I mean, you could just like. Put it in the a frozen cup? yogurt it up into a bowl, put it into the fridge, come back in 30 minutes. Okay. Look, yeah. I don't know why that made me instantly go for the small head the way that you just <laughs> described that. But like, before I was kind of on the fence, but the idea of me turning my head to the side and going, mm, <laughs> like, I was just like, no, I'm done. Like, I'll take a small head. Let, as let terrible me, as that is. Yeah. Let me regale you with a story from my childhood. And I was, at, when I was attending the British School of Bahrain. Uh, Bahrain is a, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I was attending the school in the first grade. We aren't all dumb. <laughs> <laughs> There's this kid. I don't remember his name. Let's call him Brian. Don't know if that's his real name. No, I don't think he has Steph. Uh, Brian was missing the, the tip of his, of his index finger on his left hand. It was weird. Anyway, Brian went, sometimes he would offer me some of his snacks, right? He had a little, a little plastic bag, had some chips in it. You go, um, um, um. But whenever I looked at the bag, it was wet on the inside from his nope. own saliva. So I'm like, no, Brian, no, I, <laughs> I don't do want not your want your chips. Now, <laughs> is he huffing the bag? I don't know. <laughs> is he like <laughs> looking in the bag? Like well, so like, you don't know the mm -hmm. answer and we will never get. Oh, that's probably it. That's what he was doing. No, I yeah, was watching what right he was there. doing with, his, with yeah. his fingers. He's putting them his whole fingers in his mouth with the chips. I'm like, mm, no, Brian. No, thank you. Plus, I also I know when do you that. don't have chips, your other go-to snack is to one, put your index, your nub of an index finger into your nose. Stop, stop, stop oh. right here. You're good. You don't need to continue with this story. Then your ear. Oh, why? We're seeing that happen a lot in elementary. Shut up. And <laughs> no, no, and. No, and so the end. So, so, uh, basically to answer your question, Beck, Brian liked his own flavor. <laughs> yeah. I just always remember. He liked it more when, mm, no, 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 I, I know, you I know knew what? that, that, that extra part was going to be too, too yeah, far. <laughs> I have an answer for you. Yeah. You should do the small head. You know why? 
Because your hats will finally fit. I know. When we were talking about that, I was like, I have accessories. I have tiny hats. Tiny hats will now be regular size hats. And she's looking at her collection of tiny hats. Well, there's one sombrero down there. I, I mean, know. they're still racist, they're just, but you they're should just still strewn do across the ground. Yeah, I love how they're always within eyesight. Uh, okay, last one. Last one. Would you okay. rather be unable to walk a straight line? Okay. Or, it's already me, baby. <laughs> or have the police release a sketch of a murder suspect that looks exactly like you? It's still me, baby. What was the... Ooh. Why? Yeah, the first one was you can't walk a straight line. Yes, you cannot walk a straight line. Like, I already do that normally. Yeah. 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 So that one. We'll, so it'd we'll, be no different. <laughs> we'll say the equivalent of like really drunk walking. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. No, I still walk. Yeah, like I'm that. I'm close to that. I've walked behind all of you. You're all much better than that. Yeah, we have. Yeah. You say this. Yeah. <laughs> but out of the I've choices that were presented. <laughs> I would rather I do would, the- I would choose yes. the walking one. Yes. Because- For the rest of your life. Because there's enough yeah. of, oh, I fit the description in too many police sketches. <laughs> sure, I get it. I get it for you. I, I mean, Anthony, you and me probably fit a couple of those police sketches too. Oh yeah, there's a lot of three named serial killers that we could probably be, yeah. bear a likeness to, <laughs> um, but- But uh, you, know, you could turn that walk into an advantage. You could be just like, this is my swagger, yo. I mean, I mean in my yes. head, there, there's no recovery from how like <laughs> awful this looks. I, I'm I imagining. Guess I'm not, I'm, I guess I don't. What, what, what do we mean, like drunk like ass walking? I, I'm imagining how my character walks when I drink way too many things in first class trouble. That's what I'm imagining. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm imagining yeah, something okay. kind of like that, like a real like <laughs> my head's too heavy for place. my body kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So Steph. Well, yeah. Then I guess hey. I'll, I'll go with the other option. Um, worst sketch? case scenario, I'll just shave. <laughs> <laughs> and you look at the rest of them? Yeah, oh, I know. Oh. I guess, <laughs> it's a whole nother list of uh, most wanted. <laughs> look, both are bad. They yeah. are bad. They are bad. I'd pick the walking one, though. I'd pick the walking one. I would pick um, the, the murder suspect one uh, because I feel that one has a time limit on yes. it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and eventually... That's a thing that would not completely blow over, but reduce down to have a minimal impact on my life. Hmm. Also, I bet I could really like run the murder podcast scene as like the guy who looks like the guy, <laughs> and what my, and what that what that life has made me. You're th that guy's impersonator. <laughs> yeah. mm. You show up to him at like at, at various parties, like, oh yeah, I'm that guy. Like, what's here, what's the what's the murder podcast everyone listens to? My favorite murder. My yeah. Favorite murder. Oh. Like, I'm just, I don't even I'm listen to it by now. There. I haven't listened in a long time. Shit, that's the only one I listen to these days. I'm my uh, own favorite murderer. <laughs> that's the only podcast you listen to. And you this one, of course. Uh, of course, got it. Of course. Yeah. I actually listen every week. I just don't tell you to give you the satisfaction. <laughs> and, and, and he started listening, listening right away. Yeah, the listening he's talking about is right now. Is right. Fucking I listen to it as it happens. Yeah, I was here live, son. <laughs> I've been to every LORC show live. <laughs> That's how much of a fan I am. Oh, I'm not a fan. I just. I... <laughs> no. Ouch. All right. Anyway. Uh, all right. Let's get out of here. If you have enjoyed these ridiculous conversations, then please be following us on our social medias. We are on the Facebook, Instagram, and the Twitter. You can find us by searching at LORC Podcast or the whole name League of Ridiculous Conversations. Uh, we are out on the internet for you to find. If you find us, then you can contact us and get into the Discord. We mentioned it earlier. It's free to everybody. Several yeah. topics. Most all of them uh, really happening um, lately. It's been the wrestling and as always the fighting channel, uh, which yeah. is never sleeping. It's true. It's um, true. Is, is the fighting channel not the wrestling channel? No. No, no. My my, my 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 fighting game chat. Yeah, fighting yeah. game chat. Oh. Yeah. It's it, it's a lot of uh, Jordan and Jonathan, 
like just a lot of i don't know i i never understand what they're saying i mean it's it's, it's a lot it's all of me my boy artificial ignorance and gg bevan yeah, JJ, uh we're out there just talking about fighting games you know they're good yeah. for you guys there you go find me over in the wrestling channel and the D channel that i think about sometimes just make uh, it <laughs> uh, shut up I feel like it, it would be me talking to the void and like Leland is already here. So he sees all the memes I send to my other D and D groups. You'll be talking to the void and Cody. Cause he'll, he's, he just shows up everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. L O R D and D. I think Ooh. that might be, that might have to be the name of uh, the, the D and D segment for the charity stream, which will Ooh. be happening May yeah. 14th. Mark your um, calendars. So Still putting it down, but we've decided on the date. Um, it'll be probably closer to like a 12 hour stream. We're all uh, seeing where we can um, add input, add segments, um, the D and D, the fighting games. Um, we're still building it all out. Again, this will uh, benefit. Um, Take steps is the name of the charity specifically, but it is uh, to aid in research for a cure for Crohn's and colitis uh where was i the discord next up the email uh we knocked out two separate uh, questions on our list that takes us down to 59 if you want to get us back up to 69 everyone's ah, nice. favorite go-to uh feel free to add any of your crazy conversation topics that you come up with late at night with your friends those are the ones that we're really looking for you send anything to louis lorc podcast at gmail.com i fucked up it happens i'm not perfect yes it's like the hit hannah montana song nobody's perfect anyway if you are watching us live on twitch as we are here every tuesday <laughs> at 7 p.m pacific um but maybe missed the beginning we are a podcast as well uh you may have uh, inferred that from all of the social media tags you can subscribe to this podcast on all the subscribable podcast places um you find them it's not hard the <laughs> podcast is a 15 year old medium like i'm not gonna tell what fucking hold your hand for this anymore boom <laughs> leland so you're out there uh doing that good good art shit i am all right leland pierce art on instagram and the facebook um yeah just taking a small break doing things here and there get ready for that mermaid almost about halfway done with that month so that's fun is my panthro mermaid uh complete not yet uh steph was there one that i was supposed to do for you that said mer life across the stomach what was that again oh it was supposed to be a mermaid it was a um, thug mermaid but really just yeah do it was steph. like a thug mermaid just but... do two tupac steph yeah what was that's it? it yeah that, with steph with life, two, yeah right? steph with, with tupac tattoos as a mermaid <laughs> it's a lot yeah. i'll just do staff as a mermaid this is thug you've already done stuff. that well i mean then you just take the old one and put uh her uh, life on her stomach on it. yeah Ooh, an otter maid the head of otter tail of a mermaid <laughs> that's <sounds All right>. frightening <laughs> uh i've been doing a few dick tracy villains here and there you sure yeah. have i fell down that hole um i did not realize that uh um you know a 1930s uh comic strip had hundreds of villains yeah <laughs> like yeah hundreds and they're all stupid names but one, one of my one of my favorite cartoons growing up was the dick tracy cartoon show <laughs> i mean just I enjoy that. so many wild things it's almost as dumb as the he-man characters where they're just kind of like uh oh, you have a fist and uh you're a, a fist man you Done. you Go. only talk in mumbles so yes. your name is mumbles <laughs> yeah shit like that um so it's been i don't think i'm gonna fall down that well uh, a long time because there's just so many to draw also i found out just looking at they all just look the same they all just white gangsters like there's no creativity except the ones i've already done like for the that, ones that were in the movie, those are the creative ones yeah. that could do. Yeah. For that era, you probably don't want any people of color. No, um, and I was thinking not, about not that going the other to day. go well. No, it's not. I looked some of it up and I was like, oh, this is uncomfortable. I'm oh, just yeah, like, past like, like, like yeah. the very racist Asian character from the Dick Tracy cartoon. <laughs> 
uh yeah uh bb eyes was that who i think it was, it was yeah it's something like that yeah yeah I, I was gonna draw him because i remember him from the cartoon and he's in yeah. the movie like in a background shot and i looked up and i was like i feel he's asian the way that they have drawn him and then like i looked up a colored photo and was like oh yep i'm going to say no to that one yeah <laughs> hard pass no. Uh, let me know when you do Al Pacino. That's the one I'm looking forward to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so again, how do they find you? Uh, uh, Leland Pierce Art, Instagram, and Facebook. Twitter? <laughs> no. Mild <laughs> chuckles on Twitter. <laughs> oh, oh, that was my that. Twitter that was handle, wasn't it? Mild still chuckles. Yeah. Does it really fun. still exist? Wait, do, do you have the password? uh i think i i probably do i think i may i attached wait how did i make it, it it's out there somewhere because i know i didn't do it <laughs> no yeah i made it it was like a hundred follows and you'll make your first tweet <laughs> something like that you know what maybe... i'm back on this let's do this <laughs> <laughs> i mean they're gonna be adding an edit button soon so you know that'll make tweet tweeting a little bit easier there you go. Oh, we can already downvote tweets <laughs> yeah oh yeah. All right. Jordan, where can wow. they find you on the internet? You can find me on most social media platforms at Jordan is a bear and on Twitch TV slash Jordan is a bear. Uh, my schedule has changed a lot. Friday is the is like a for sure set day, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But I'm going to try a thing out where um, for this co-op Thursday at, you know, Twitch TV slash LRC podcast, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursday. Uh, I will also be streaming my perspective. So Seth will be doing the main LRC uh, perspective from her perspective and then if you come over to my stream you'll see my perspective same thing playing the forest still um and then uh this past sunday um i was streaming um our community day lrc gaming uh, uh on this sunday at 7 p.m pacific standard time uh, i was doing that on my personal stream as well just trying to uh consolidate uh, um my streaming days with the lrc streaming days and then probably adding extra streaming days here and there for my personal stuff. So that's what's happening. That's what the schedule is. Just follow me on, on Twitter. I'll let you know what's going on at Jordan is a bear. Steph, where can people find you? I did stream from my own account. Rovian, you can watch me stream what I am playing. Last Sunday, I played Cooking Mama on PS4, and it was chaotic, but really fun. It was fun. real saucy. <laughs> I had a blast doing it. I've been meeting to play again. I just I don't have a schedule, but I, I, uh. I, I put I put your stream on and I fell asleep for five hours. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I can't figure out my scheduling days just because there's always something going on in my life. And if I commit that much, it's going to be too hard and I'm going to let people down. So I'd rather just go live when I go live and can. And maybe you stick around, maybe you don't, but it's always there to look at. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Stephanoids. That's S-T-E-P-H-U-H-N-O-I-D-S. And if you're looking for glasses, I have a code for Zenny Optical. <laughs> Reach out to me on the social medias, and I will give you that code. It would have been baby. it would have been perfect if you had that all ready to go and you just posted it in chat right now. Oh, I do have it ready to go. Let me post it in chat right now. <laughs> that's all i have to say <laughs> and if you would like my sword in your hand find me at spooky the 13th on instagram and the twitter so until next week i'm anthony and in alphabetical order we are i'm jordan i'm leland i'm steph okay. and we'll see you next week bye bye, bye. Oh, let me uh, hey, hey Rovi, since you're in chat, I have a quick question. What what uh, capture card uh, do you and Cornbreb use, you know, for streaming and stuff? Because I, I just bought th this thing here. It's a $30 capture card. It there works pretty well. I'm, I'm going to be trying. I'm going to be trying out on my uh, personal stream just just to see how 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 it goes. See if maybe I'll uh, switch to it. Don't know yet, but I'm impressed by how good it is. <laughs> Yeah, that's freaking no, sick. It, it better be fucking good because I bought it. <laughs> it's 30 bucks. <laughs> like, Yeah, that's true. I am. Um, you don't know my life. I'm here saving up for Disneyland trips and Ren Fairs oh, yeah. and costumes. Mm, and fair. I'm real tempted to get another lightsaber. <laughs>
Do you, okay, if you're going to do that, you got to let me, you got to get that shit in the schedule now because it's going to sell out. L listen, if I, if I delay too <laughs> long and I can't get it, then the decision is made for me. Okay, because I'll be honest. That hour was not set aside in some of the schedule plannings. <laughs> yeah, that's also like our schedule is also all like, over the place. Not not determined. Aww. Yes. Or, or, yeah. and, and not flexible, I feel. Uh it's flexible to a point. Yeah. Right. Only so. because we have reservations for lunch. Ooh. And everything is kind of predicated on that. Because what's, that what's our, we have to. What what's our, our lunch plan? Uh, we're going to the Lamplighter Lounge over in California Adventure to eat, and apparently it's uh, very nice and good from what I've been told, but mm -hmm. uh, they have an amazing bar, and that's kind of why we're really going there. Mm -hmm. okay. so, Wait, okay. what has an amazing bar? Uh, a place in Disneyland. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. That sounds super yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, Anthony. Yes, Jordan. You're you're oh, ordering you're ordering this capture card. Yes. Do you think you can uh, uh, do a, a, a practice stream? Uh yeah. Um, like on Sunday. Uh, well, yeah, no, for sure. I'm just trying Yo, to think. Uh, th what? thanks for thanks for that command, uh, Rovai. Uh, now, if we do uh, oh, exclamation cool. mark glasses, Steph, oh, you're, you're sweet. yeah. Thanks. Cool, cool, cool. Thank uh, you. It's just the best. Uh, the the code changes from week to week. Oh right? yeah, the code changes. No, that's fine. Just, so I'll have to update it. Just, just yeah, just, I'll just give you the thing to Nightbot so you can just change the code and then yeah, I'll, I'll Thank set it to you. a thing so it so it pops up like. I feel like there's a thing a I'm supposed to do on Wednesday, but I don't remember what it is anymore. A game. No. I thought, yeah, I thought you're usually busy on Wednesdays. Uh, n no. Sometimes I work late. Mm. Um, and sometimes I've 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 been working on a writing project with a buddy. Yeah. Um. But, huh? I got nothing shit on me. All right. Uh, yes, we we, not we certainly can. Anything. We certainly can. Oh, cool. Oh, that's right. It was with um. It was with uh, Gabe for um, mm. making friends with. Yeah. Um, he's working on a commercial, so he doesn't know if he could make it, and he hasn't gotten back to me to confirm uh, if he could do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Which was a conversation go. we had yesterday. I'll, I'll, I'll just put that out there. Yeah. Think, I'm not think trying to plan for tomorrow. Yeah. Not that, anyway. Well, either way, we can also do, like, Saturday night, right? Yeah. 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 I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, so, I know yeah, I'm well, supposed to watch Sonic sometime this week. It's true. I'll probably watch it on Saturday. Oh, T-Mobile Tuesday had this $4 movie ticket. So I was just like, I guess I'm watching Sonic. It's just four bucks. The, the Sonic the Movie 2 opens this week, Anthony. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah. So I will watch that. I'm yeah, looking movie theaters are trying to start summer early by putting big movies in in, in, in May or uh, mm. April. What else is new? <laughs> I, I know, but it's just kind of like, y'all, remember when June was summer? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, they're just, yeah, that's also true. <laughs> Beck, you, tell me how Morbius is. Like, as soon as you get out of the theater, tell me what you think. Oh, God, I still really want to watch Morbius. <laughs> yeah. I wonder because I don't know, like, that's not gonna matter. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Like, if I will you, just enjoy you, you will it learn for by the watching movie. the movie. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, will I, I mean, just enjoy the movie been told, for what it is? No, she won't. Uh, Ch chances are, if you knew anything before, it would just confuse you. Yeah, it would just make it worse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's a good thing you're going in. Like, you would go I mean, in totally they, blind. blind. From what I was told, they didn't know what they were making either. Oh no! So, I, I feel, <laughs> I, I feel Beck or Jordan would really be the closest to um like opinions that i think would be closest to mine as far as a movie like that goes i i need to see this movie i just want to see like how much of a hot mess it is you know like, yeah. like i'm not going to go to a theater and i never oh, yeah. planned on going to a theater even before like i started hearing that it wasn't good yeah. but will i pay the 250 to rent it like in whatever many weeks it'll become rentable 
Oh, I, I 100% expect to watch it during a matinee. Like, I don't, I don't want to pay 14 <laughs> well, bucks I, for this. It's no, it's not yeah. it's not theater quality to me. It's not theater worthy to me. God damn it, Rovai. It's if it's like, better than Venom be 2, better than Venom 2, but not Venom. Then like awesome. I I enjoyed More Venom 2. Burns character from the Matrix. Who who are you talking to, Steph? Steph's reading chat. I'm reading oh. chat. Morbi is a Lawrence Fishburne's character from the Matrix. <laughs> I mean, I will believe you because I trust you. So if you're lying to me, feel bad because I don't know anything yeah. about it. Shame so. on you, Revive. <laughs> no, he's actually telling you the truth. Yeah, no, I was like, is it? Is, is that real? Is it's it not Morpheus. related? In no, I know hey, that. That's why I was like, thing. wait. Yeah, I don't give two shits about either one of those movies. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Now, now I'm just blurry. Oh, no. Yeah, let me see. Out of focus, Jordan. <laughs> Morbius. Why do you have such a problem with your camera? See, I don't. I don't know. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like I never, I never have to refocus my camera. Yeah, I don't know. Me and Leland, like we're we're always fine. You and sometimes Steph, but pretty much well, just you. It's mostly me, just me. It's always the camera's racist. <laughs> it's always I mean... like the virtual cam that I have to like start and then. Oh no, your whatever. problem with the camera is completely separate, and I'm not bringing that up. I'm talking about yeah. just focusing. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Every <laughs> once in a while, I'll come out. But wait, isn't Oprah lighting just God's light shining from heaven? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then that's why I don't have it. <laughs> oh, Jay, <laughs> Anthony, are those your new expensive sunglasses? Gla they sure are. Oh, they're they look nice. like six hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, these are my six hundred dollar glasses. Are they made of titanium? Yeah. Where'd you get those at? Scanton Optical. Wait, is the, are they mm. blue? No, they're black. Oh, um, oh I guess the light shining on them made it. Yeah, like a, like a they're color. matte black with metal arms. Ooh. Oh, like Jax from Mortal Kombat? Did yep, you customize like them the way you wanted them to, or did they come like that? For 600 bucks, they better fucking fucked him. I mean, it did. <laughs> Steph, are, are you, Steph, are you trying to backdoor another ad for Zinni Optical? No, 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 because you, you can't necessarily customize like no. how nope. it is. I just thought like you got to choose how you wanted it to look. No, I, I went to oh. the wall of frames and decided and that settled one. on these. Oh, oh, Six hundred dollars okay. for a pair of glasses, Steph. How much would you get for glasses for it? Is any optical? I don't know. I got these for. They were on sale for six ninety nine, and then I added the um the fucking uh what do you call this the um anti glare. The anti glare I think is free, but I didn't do the blocks. Blocks adds like sixteen ninety nine to it, which is still not that bad. But and, it, and it blocks blue lights. How long? These are the ones. Did you get those, Steph? What's their uh, turnaround in the mail? I think it took two weeks. Uh, that's too long. Like a week? I, I don't know. I had to wait like eight, nine days. Yeah, mine oh. was like ten. For six hundred dollars? I mean, these were three hundred, and see. they would have been six hundred. But the guy looked at me, and I was like, "I'm poor. What can you do?" And he's like, "Well, I guess we don't have to do this and this and this." It's like, "Thank you. I just need glasses <laughs> see. to see." That's yeah, it. like. Like I was talking about last night, the thing that really fucked me is that I have two prescriptions and the progressive to blend oh. those two, that's um that was six hundred dollars. And then like the discounts. Yes, yeah, yeah, I have bifocals technically. Oh, that's okay. That's you got that Benjamin Franklin shit. That's yeah, got that's that, why oh it my is. God. The NGIs. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm <laughs> and not there yet. Yeah. yeah. Um I'm still basic. I just can't see far away. Yeah. Yeah. And after it's been two weeks now, I think we're coming up to two weeks that I've had them. I don't know. I don't know if, if these are the way they should be. If but they're actually bifocals or no, they're bifocals, but I don't know if like they're set right or if the prescription is right. But like, I went so long with like eye issues. I feel like I don't know what's right. And like, that's, that's my fucking problem is like, okay, well it's better than without them, but with them, it feels like it should be better than it is. But I don't know. Is that asking too much? Oh. It, but, but like, is your vision clear with the glasses on? 
Um, yeah. It's better. It's it's better than without them. <laughs> but like. <laughs> But fish. like looking at looking at my screen here. Oh, here's the one that I bought. I can I can read everything on it, but it feels like they're a little blurry around the edges, and I I I, hmm. I assume I should I sh they should be better than that. But I'm also oh, worried. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, freaking nerds! Happy anniversary, y'all! They got their one year anniversary. Aww, happy anniversary. One year is it, that that's a, that's an achievement when it comes to podcasting. Yeah, podcasting's about, got a yeah. steep drop off once someone out there's got to do the editing. Oh yeah, <laughs> ain't that true? <laughs> um, yeah, you guys love getting at us when we are on the like the most lamest of topics. <laughs> <laughs> You're all oh. great, but man, I'm here talking about my glasses. <laughs> Fine. Okay. This is what happens at nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, uh, in chat, uh, tell us uh, the concept of adding a sword to your death um, mm. post-mortem. Just laying a sword in your hand wherever you end up dead. Uh, <laughs> if you if you find that to be an interesting prospect, then maybe would pay the guy who was also deleting your uh, internet history to do the same for you. Yeah. I legit I think I legit think that's fucking amazing. It yeah no it would be. I mean, I I 100% expect myself to die with a sword in my hand because I'm going to die fighting a orangutan with a sword. So the orangutan has a sword as well. We're, yeah. we're having a sword duel to the death once a year. So, you know. JBS, um, we talked about it. Lightsabers came up. Um, I nixed it because the entire concept is why you were having the sword. Were you fighting? Were you defending yourself? Were you attacking somebody? If it was a lightsaber, sonic screwdriver, something like that, then it seems pretty like, oh, you just walked around with that in your regular life. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't add the mystery to the circumstances of your death. Or step further, a full on like like a kite shield. <laughs> just oh my God. <laughs> a kite shield? Yeah, just I just have a shield. Like why would I die and I have a oh, shield okay. with me? You know? <laughs> Ooh, good compromise, JBS. The Dark Blade from uh, The Mandalorian. You know what? Yeah, it's a good choice. It is a good choice. Oh, man. Oh, Leland, get your fucking earbuds back in. He will. Leland. In. <laughs> He's about to. He just got his drink. He got himself a nice little drink. He was parched. He doesn't know we're talking about him. Yeah. And I now know. he's about I to put them talking. back on. He's just like, what are like they talking about? about? What's happening? <laughs> He's Look probably like reading a, chat. He, like he's he's, he's not even chat. trying. Oh, now he's <laughs> hey. in. Hey. Leland, do they have oh, any great, badass Dark again. Blade merch at Disney? Yeah, but Fuck. it looks terrible. Oh, good. Oh, no, oh. real bad. Like, um, the Dark Saber's hilt is, like, uh -huh. fucking legit. But when you put the blade on, it literally looks like a plastic black light with a white plastic. It just doesn't look right because that concept doesn't work we're like, not at, we're not at that technology yet no i mean it's fine it's just you're like okay but yeah. for 300 bucks you're like oof oh. now, last, last last week they did the um uh the cal kestis blade from hmm. the, yes. the, the uh, fallen order yeah. game because yes. that's now considered canon so they had the hilt good which fucking look legit and i watched a video that's um, the one i would go for that's the one i want too yeah but it's one of those ones it, it, it'll it turn from um all the like the three or four colors so you can go from like yellow green blue purple red and stuff Dude. in saber like you don't have to get a new crystal because uh, yeah. they've advanced the technology to do that now Fun. they um, could have always done it <laughs> sure. they, they could have but i I, I'm just saying I, they now I know it's offer another, that as a thing. It's another $25 each crystal, but I do just kind of love that the crystal is in there, that the Kyber crystal sure. is, is yeah. in my lightsaber. Um, a customer of mine was talking about he went, he was going to go down and get one of the cow uh, blades. And I was like, and he, I was like, yeah, it looks really cool. He goes, yeah, they're not, they're not pimping this out, but it, when you get down there, they tell you, you can actually get the other one and connect them because in the game you can have, 
yeah. saber or oh, wow. double or whatever. And I was like, yeah, but Spoilers. that's like that's like two to three hundred dollars per saber. He's like, yeah, so it's a six hundred plus tax item. He's like, wow. I don't know what I'm going to do with it other than hang it on the wall next to the other 19 sabers I have. And I'm just like, that's the most <laughs> expensive wall ever. You know, just like, mm. um, I mean, Jess and Julian, who you'll meet at Disney, they have, mm-hmm. they bought that wonderful, um, the Luke and Leia limited time box that's the oh, wow. only way you can get the Leia saber from the last, um, mm. the last jet or the whatever the fucking what was the Rise of Skywalker? Rise of Skywalker, yeah. yeah. Um, so, w- but every time you open the box, it plays the Force theme, mm. and it's Aww. all and it, and it looks like the end of the movie where Ray wraps it up in the leather cloth and puts a tie on oh. it. Yeah. But here's the kicker: so they bought that because they wanted the Leia saber. They already have two other Luke sabers and this like same Luke saber that you can just buy randomly. So I was like, <laughs> they were like, yeah, we're gonna have to sell like a Luke saber because I don't need three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah so, so. <laughs> I gotta look. Uh, I don't remember the Leia saber saber off the top of my head. It's really it's it a nice design. I mean, you can now do the Ray. That's an option as well. Mm-hmm. The Ray Yellow Saber is an option. I've always wanted the Asajj Ventress Saber. Um, yeah. But those are they getting kind of, it's not limited, but it, they're, they're not making they're, more of them. They're not making more of them. So it's one of those things. And I guess you can still also attach those. And it does that weird, like, shape that it does. Yeah. When it's connected. And I was just like, again, it's like $1,000. I'm like, I'm, I'm good. I mean, I'm happy with the two that I have that I made. I occasionally will pull them out at night and light them up for about 10 minutes. And then I go, all right, cool. And then I'll put them back in there. Oh, my Aww. battery died. It's okay. I had to watch a video how to change the battery. It ain't easy. But once you figure out how to do it, it's real simple. But What kind of battery yeah. is inside? Uh, I think it's a AAA. Three right, AAAs. So- a regular oh, ass wow. battery. I don't What's gotta buy a regular like a... ass battery. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Right, you have to buy like a C buy battery. A no, but you... battery. I'd be like, dude, that's so fucked up. Yeah, it's Come either on. a double A or a triple A, but you have okay. to have one of those real long um pencil screwdrivers. Yes, which I did not have. So I had to go buy one mm. just to change a battery and a lightsaber. Because it's like <laughs> wow. I have no reason to have a pencil screwdriver in my life. Well, you do now. I do now. You do, yeah, you have a reason now. Yeah. Now, where I put oh. it, <laughs> where is it now? Ooh. Yeah, just buy another one. I'll, I'll have to go buy another four dollar pencil screwdriver. Yeah. I would time. put it wherever you put that thing, so you know it's always there. Just, I just was, duct tape it to the lightsaber. <laughs> I was worried that it was going to be like some kind of like weird ass, expensive, or like just annoying to no. get. Yeah. All right, cool, good. Yeah, it's by I'm, a whole I'll, new hilt. <laughs> Yeah, I'll God, recharge it. Would I so wouldn't necessarily up. put it past them. <laughs> yeah, but I yeah, think because but... I think what happened is I rest. I I bought a, a stand for yeah. for my saber. You guys have all seen it. Uh, so I just rest it without the blade on top. Yeah, and I think the switch was just on because it only makes one sound mm. if the blade's not on. It makes like a static noise, but that's oh. it. It won't continue to make noise to remind you. Whoops, I'm on. So I think that happened, and my battery was dead. Cause I've got uh, the Vader switch, which is going. kind of easy to flip on yeah. and off. Oh, okay. Okay. Remember you fucking like, we walked outside and you broke yours. Like the second we walked outside <laughs> the, the thing and we were just like oh. 200 bucks. These things are that breakable. Like okay, I, I tightened cool. it too much oh. and kind of stripped the threading. Ah. Uh. So like then it, it, it wouldn't get tight again because I'd already kind of fucked it up. So I'm like, yo, my man, can you help me out? And he went yeah. and like brought me a new piece. Oh. I was like, which, oh, okay. which is nice, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, for two hundred bucks, they fucking better. Yeah. yeah. So it's do you just like still not perfect? No, it's but... not. It's still not perfect. Even though, like, I love mine, but I look at him and go, "You could have. I could have done other things." <laughs> it yeah, it looks great. I wouldn't like. I know it's fencing capable, but I would not. It's too loose to really handle like no. that. It's not. It's good. it's just a nice ass piece of artwork that it's I also too fucking shelf. heavy. Do, but <laughs> you didn't wear yours all day, and I did, yours. I did my first one. I did. It was okay. heavy, and it pulled down yeah. my pants all afternoon. That's so what your, I was gonna. Did ask. your first one have a D ring like mine did? No, I have the 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 big hook. 
Yeah. Mine's even heavier because that first one I had has that giant rancor tooth on the end of yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> which is fucking awesome. Mine's got a D-ring hoop to it and like clips like a normal like latch would. So it's bouncing around all fucking day. We get our lightsabers at like 12. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to ask. How long hours. are you holding this for? Oh, a like, while, Steph. A while. Do you pick a slot where it's just like, oh, I'm kind of close to the end of the nope. night at the park, and then it's just like, I would only have to carry this for like three hours. Well, no, the problem is, like... at the time that we went, they were still super hard to get, so it was oh, first come, first so you... serve. Okay, got yeah. it. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, because um, I was like, do you strategically pick what time no, you yeah. buy I'm, this? Honestly, Anthony, I'm not surprised you don't want to do a droid. Oh, I've messed with the droids. Yeah. They are very janky. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So not worth that price tag to me. No, I don't need a droid. No, my si my yeah. sister and brother in law have gotten like one for each of them plus my nephew, and I'm like, mm, yes, no. Jordan. Question down the front. You can build a droid. They have yeah. a conveyor belt of all sorts of colors and combos, and you can either build an R two unit or a BB eight unit. Gotcha, um, gotcha. Yeah, I and mean, you can even put chips in them to make them imperial or rebel. And if you walk around with it in your backpack and the chip is active, certain areas will react different because if it's a rebel and you go oh. in the imperial section, it starts getting all freaked out. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. kind of cool. Yeah. That they have. And they can talk to other ones that have chips in them. Yes. Like areas. Oh, they, they'll oh. kind of come alive and chirp at yeah. other ones. It's that's really, cool. it's unsettling. <laughs> it's fun, but to actually work them, they are not smooth. And like I've got, I've got the big BB-8 that I got. Oh, for I remember you did years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and that cute. motherfucker is solid, but still very difficult to operate. Yeah, because we don't have robots. Uh, imagine, imagine you're just <laughs> sleeping one night, part. and then your droid just goes off. It's like I don't need I'd, that. I'd even turn it on. <laughs> Like smoke alarm, go away! Shut up. <laughs> um, no, I, I, would like, I know. Yeah. yeah, I would like to go to Star Wars land at some point in my life. <laughs> would you get a saber? I mean, probably if I'm going to yeah. Star Wars land. <laughs> the problem is, is when I go with people who like anthony or like you and they're like oh i want to get a saber because you let's say jordan you go and make your appointment you can take one person with you so each person can have one guest to like yeah. videotape it or whatever and I, I i'm just like oh well if everybody else is making a saber i want to make a saber that's not how the, that's not how this works that's a 250 dollar oops i want to make yeah. a saber too that's that's <laughs> i will tell you right now if we all went i would not buy one Knowing me, I would not make an effort to buy that. I would well, you maybe use my you money can on something else. Jordan getting I would his. like to watch the experience, but I yeah. do not need to buy it. Yeah, Steph, yeah. I'm not, I don't, I don't like gatekeeping, but maybe you should see the movies first. <laughs> no, I, I know. I'm just saying, like in in general, it just never like I don't know. Even like FOMO is not hitting me at yeah, all I get when you. it comes I to get this. You. I'm just like. I don't need another thing. It's, it's okay. I get you. Um, the experience is amazing. Honestly. Oh yeah, like I just want to see I mean, it happen. I just wouldn't buy it. Anthony, For me, I wouldn't buy it. Almost cry. Almost no, no, he didn't cry. Whatever you oh. get as close as you can get to crying without actually having an emotion, he almost misty eyed. He I got misty eyed. There. Yeah, he yeah. Got misty eyed. Oh, that's cool. I had to take I a breath. It. I had to take a breath. <laughs> Oh, and I then love that's that. when we got outside, and they were like, that, 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 <laughs> yeah, gross. that creepy yeah. guy came up to us and he was like, Hey, you guys want to gamble? And we were like, What? Demon? You guys want to play some sabak? He's like, Yes, you guys want to play some sabak? And that's when I learned that sabak is all about math and colors, two things I'm not good at. So fuck that oh, game. I'm not good at math. <laughs> I have not played my sabak. Uh, cards once Did he almost since win? buying it. I do still like that I own it, but I have when, not played. When I went more. with my dad that same year uh, yeah. for Christmas, he bought that. I don't know the name of the chess game they play. Fuck, hollow chess, space chess, whatever. Oh, space chess. I think it's. I think it's called hollow chess. He he bought that 
and he has it set up in his computer room like as if it's re- like being played i was Ready like go. Yeah, yeah. i was like have you ever played he goes oh no i'm like do you know the rules he's like no I'm like, okay so, <laughs> like, so we're not playing this he's like oh no this is just a thing i was like got it <laughs> uh revi you want to build a seeker droid i mean yeah like of of droids an r2 or a bb like are on the lower ends of droids I'd actually kind of want to make. Oh. Yeah. Did Jarek? Is that what you meant? I had to look it up. What's that? What stuff? Did Jarek? What? What are you saying? Game Alice? known as Did Jarek was featured in the original oh. Star Wars movie. Oh, though. Yeah. Is that no. what you're yes. talking about? That's yes. that yeah, game? probably. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, like, I, w- I, would... I would like a BD one, like over a R two or a, or BB eight. What's a uh, BD one? Yeah. What's a BD1? From, from, that, that's from Fallen Order. That, that's Cal Kestis's. Yes. Yeah. I, I like that it was on him during the game, though. Yeah. Eh. That His one little to legs. me, out of all the all the droids, oh, that one cute. to me was like the most like dog like. Yeah. Yes. I, I was yeah. like, oh, that's why I really liked it. Because yep. it's like, like it's a dog and it's on me and I can take it with me. Where yeah. I don't look at R2 D2 or BB 8 as a dog. Yeah. You look at I them as like a. Ex- like they, a little companion, you know. Yes. They, they have Aww. more, yeah. They have more, um, emoting. Oh, okay. Like a wider Aww. range of kind yeah. of personality. I, I, I guess because that that one in in, in Fallen Order like wagged its hind quarters Ooh. at once when it got excited. <laughs> that was like, oh my god, it's like a dog. I'm like, yes, that's the one I want. Like, <laughs> I'd kind of, I'd kind of want a mouse droid. I know it um, seems like lame, I need to but <laughs> like <laughs> customize it, like fucking put a little like art on it. R- uh, racing stripes. <laughs> yeah, well, well, flames <laughs> on it so it can go faster. What about that one droid in the book of Boba Fett that powered himself down when, when Boba Fett asked him if he if it knew who he was? Was that was it the the the, the bonk 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 no. droid? No, a gonk I, droid. Gonk droid was it the gonk droid? I don't, know. I don't know. I don't remember I don't it. it. It it just it just it, it if it's not up. the Mandalorian or the oh. Rancor, I've forgotten that whole. <laughs> it, it, it was yeah. It was it was the little it was the one inside the Jabba's palace that looks like a little bunny. It yes, has yeah, little that ears. One. Remember, and he was like, "Do you know who I am?" Mm-hmm. I'm and it just it goes. It just, and it, it, like, it, it, yeah. it it specifically turned off. It flipped its own switch. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Just reach behind its own bag and click. No, it's on, it's on its chest. It's just like, nope. <laughs> Opens the door. <laughs> yeah, bunny. Yeah. Uh, Revise is a bunny droid. Yeah. That, that's exactly what happened. It opened the little compartment and pushed the button to turn itself uh, off. I like, that. It's like, uh, I remember when I saw it, I was just like, did this? That droid just kill itself? <laughs> like, <laughs> they can shut themselves off. No, I mean, yeah. yeah. Like, Which someone I just, just flipped the switch and it's back. Like it's just the concept that the droid knew it had a switch; it could just it, to turn, turn it itself off. off. Like they all, they yeah. all know they have like a mortality. Like three PO won't shut up about it. <laughs> well, because he's a he's more humanoid than any of them, so <laughs> it's a nope switch. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that oh. one part in Rise of Skywalker where three people just like, oh, I'm gonna get my memories wiped, but it's okay. And like the next scene, he was totally fine. <laughs> Listen, there are a couple plot points that are a little <laughs> unresolved in I those movies. I don't have the strength to do that tonight. You know what's the <laughs> best line that was ever uttered in all of Star Wars? Droid, hey, please! Hey, droid, please is good. <laughs> Somehow the emperor is back. <laughs> <laughs> they said, looking straight at the camera. <laughs> Someone wrote that and was like, "I'm gonna cash that hundred thousand dollar check later." <laughs> and we're gonna force Oscar Isaac to say this <laughs> with a straight yeah. face. <laughs> yeah. Now this is Ooh. pod racing, another classic. <laughs> Yippee! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Babu freak. Uh, and, uh, one of my best top character. five. Best character. Hey, 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 Babu Frick is amazing. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, I'm gonna be able to play Babu Frick. I got that Star Wars Lego game today in the mail. Ooh, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah we're gonna, I hear it's we're good. Kick it up later this the, week because we have the Lego to finish. Games haven't discouraged you. What do you mean? 
Uh, last week you were talking about how you were really um, stuck oh, on a no, puzzle. They, make, they infuriate me, but I'm yeah. still going to play them. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, we have, I think, one level or two levels left on Pirates and then we're done so we can move on to Star Wars. <laughs> I, I, I think one of my favorite memes I, memes I saw this week was um, it showed Elden Ring and says, oh, now that you kids had your game, and then show the Star Wars thing is not time for a real man's game. <laughs> oh man, how long until we get the Elden Lego ring? That's never happening. But did you see? Did you see that? Apparently, Somebody's from software, gonna mod it. Uh, from uh, from software, the people who made Elden Ring, they reached out to Brandon Sanderson. They're just like, hey, you want to make something? Because George Railroad Martin, like, uh, wrote some of the story for Elden Ring. Couldn't finish. <laughs> this is one. This is one he actually finished somehow. But they reached out to Brandon Sanders, and he's just like, "Yeah, I have an idea or two, like ready to go." Because he's goddamn Brandon Sanderson, and he's a, he, he's he's the best. And, and Martin can't do his own sequels, <laughs> right? <laughs> they ain't gonna be an Elden Ring too. It's 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 like they're making the game just for you at this point. I know, just specifically laser pointed at me. Yeah. <laughs> That that George Railroad fucker is honestly going to die before he finishes. Yes, yes, he's gonna die yeah. before finishing writing Game he's, of Thrones. He's not gonna finish it. He's just not. <laughs> he doesn't yeah. look healthy. My opinion mm -hmm. is he has no intentions on actually finishing it. Yeah. <laughs> so just give the notes to Brandon Sanderson. He'll finish it. Like he, the man wrote three books. Just for funsies in 2020, and then put out the Kickstarter saying, "Hey, I wrote these books. Do you want them?" <laughs> and yes, people want them. It came out to like what 4.7 million dollars he raised. Like Jesus. And for some reason, that's showing up on my Facebook ads. Because he's Brandon Goddamn Sanderson. <laughs> I'm a. I'm assuming it's because I I opened up my Kickstarter again for the first time one. in a year. Yeah, it's that one. And so so we could both pre-order. Uh, level three of Digital Legends of Doom. That's right. On Kickstarter. Volume three is out, is, uh, out there. Check it out. Where's uh, maybe uh, some of our friggin' nerds media friends uh, out there interested in a comic book? Uh, yeah, you're Digital interested Legends in, of Doom? Yeah. A lesser known comic, you know? Yeah. Lesser well. known comic book? <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say goodbye. All right. We'll Yay. shut All it right. down. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, okay. everybody who has no. hung out with us tonight. Uh, thank you so much, Friggin' Nerds Media, for the raid. Uh, you guys are uh, awesome. And again, congratulations on one year. Thank you yeah. to all of our Gs uh, down there in the chat. You guys are the real ones. Um, thank you so much for making this so much fun for us to do. We will be back Thursday night. Jordan and Steph uh, continue to be lost in the forest. Yes. Um, that's right in the co-op thursdays soon yes. i mean i haven't watched i haven't really watched any of it but i'm already bored we should um, be finishing it soon calm right. down last week we blew or sorry last week i blew up our house you sure did steph yeah you sure following did following our social medias you'd have seen the angles on that clip <laughs> oh yeah i still have to post jordan's angle i don't think i fully posted that one yet oh well let but, me let me re-edit the video then and make it better yeah. There's one. there's there's one that's got like the inside outside. Yeah, but but I want one where it's like you see the inside stuff throws the dynamite. Then I want to switch to me like a couple seconds before it goes off. Like mm. you you see her throw it, and then cut to me and like oh I guess I'm going to boom. oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that now, was, was that 80... like oh go ahead. Was that like your home? Yeah, it was one of them. One okay. of our houses. Yeah, it took okay. eighty six logs it's, that we didn't. Yeah. It it's, took 86 logs to make that house, and we didn't have our chainsaw at the moment. So it was a lot of hacking that I did. Yes, to, it, it to took us like, like four weeks to get that <laughs> to get that log cabin up. So you lost four weeks of work. We yeah. did. And then we built that log we that built same it back log cabin. Ten minutes. Because we had a chainsaw this time. We had chainsaws. Yeah. All right, that's for us. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Uh, remember, May 14th is our scheduled date for our charity stream. Yes. Um, so everyone who was just participating in the raid, if you're interested in that, uh, watch our, our social medias. We'll, we'll pimp it out more as we get closer to May 14th. Information um, will be coming out uh, on that soon as it develops. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so again, thank you so much, everybody. 
Uh, we will see you uh, later this week. Uh, if not, we'll see you right back here next week, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the next episode of the League of Ridiculous Conversations. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Goodbye. everyone. Everyone say bye. Bye.